No style. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hello. Um, so, watch lead. We were in science. We were in the middle of um, a tube core that was unsuccessful. All the sediments uh, slipped out. Um, I had them, since we didn't know whether you guys wanted to follow through with it or not, try again. I had them just leave it out so that we could go for a quick redo if you wanted. Otherwise, we can just put it away. Um, did, did the pilots on the previous watch seem to think that it was unlikely of being successful if we tried again? Um, they didn't leave me with that assessment. I would, um... It's not going to be tough to try again, just because the tube core is already in hand. Oh, great. But it's likely that we will have the same outcome, is my assessment. Gotcha. Um, yeah, well, since we have it, we might as well give it a try. And if we are unsuccessful, then we can move on. Right. Great. Where would you like it from? <coughs> Um, so if we can get um, an area that looks like it was undisturbed from the previous watch or as undisturbed as possible, and if we could get a zoom in on the sediment with the lasers and, and we'll go for that kind of spot. Okay. okay, video, you can go for zoom. So I think all that stuff on the left uh, like this stuff, whoops. Yeah. That's disturbed, and then up to That's the right disturbed. is disturbed from their last push core. Yeah, like over but here. But where the lights are is yep. not. Yep, that looks great, right here. Yep. Okay. Um, that may be a little ways away, um, but we can give it a go. Okay. Um, okay, video, can you go wide? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Can you give me bubble? Raj. Yeah. Hmm. Raj. So I am selecting cap. Thank you. It is showing? Okay. So how do I unbreak my wrist um, there? <laughs> let's see. Yeah. 
It looks like it is yeah. now. Did you refresh yours? I want to change the other one. It's that one. Roger. Okay. So. Okay. Where the lasers are, Roger. It looks like it's coming up for me. I think mine's just slow. Okay. Well, I think it's logging, so it should be fine. Okay. You got a grab of the lasers? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. I tried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, I, okay, I, I, Raj, Roger. Welcome to Nautilus Live. Why is my thing not working? Can you hear me? lasers? Yes. yes. Oh, I can hear you. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, actually, but yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, Raj. I can see it in the bubble, but uh, Gabby, just FYI, I'm not getting you in the headset. Oh, she's yeah, muted. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> Raj. <laughs> <laughs> that might be possible one day. Okay. Yeah. Is that far enough back? Um, you'll see. It looks like it might need to be a little bit further back, but you'll see sort of as you bring it down. Okay. And if you can't, we'll do a zoom closer in and yeah. go for that. Uh, video zoom. That's okay, right? Science? Um, yeah, so as far as images, that we're fine, and we don't want to get anything in this line. Yeah. So we can aim more for, like, yeah, like over there. How's that? You see where my shadow is? Like yeah. Like underneath? Yep. Okay. That should be fine. Just don't go forward of the lasers. Nice. It's great. Thank you for that, Gabby. Huh. I still have some of my Argus skills. Some of them. There it Oopsie. goes. Oopsie. Uh oh. Huh. Oh, DVL's back. Sorry, not a great push core. Yep. Huh. Probably they're, want they're showing to up for you there. That yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. One out. Yeah. Try again. I think I wanna. I think it's just. I wanna have you do it, and I wanna watch if that's okay. Okay. I've never done a push core. And that, yeah, that was great. That is an interesting they're geometry. For <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it looks difficult. Okay. Did you wanna try shaking it out? No. Okay. I think it'll take a long time for me. Okay. Um, this is tricky stuff. Strange way to hold this. 
Kind of reminds me. Kind of reminds me of like a confetti cannon. <laughs> that's shaking out. <laughs> I see it now. Let's put the sparkles it's up. It's a on lot there. of action. It's sparkling with the lasers. Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's not intentional. This was intentional. <laughs> Do you want me to secure the uh, uh, starboard vertical? Uh, I think I we're probably okay. Is there anything in that bio box? Uh, only rocks. Garage. Um, Data, can you confirm that I'm not lying there? In the forward? Yeah, it's only rocks. Uh, starboard. In the starboard. Oh, starboard is also only rocks. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna bring this in a little closer. Raj, we just, I wish we had set you up a little bit better for success. That was my bad. It's okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go for the, some of this closer sediment. Roger. So let's get a zoom video. Maybe something around... It'll be below the lasers, yeah, right around there. Yep. Totally. <coughs> okay, go wide video. Thanks for the love, Philippines. Welcome to Nautilus Live. Welcome. You want me to tilt your camera down? Oh yeah, that would be amazing. You got it. Keep going down. Okay, that's good. Raj. Oh, uh, one second. Yes, and then we can do a little introduction. This is actually probably a decent time for an introduction. Yes. Yeah, go for it. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. My name is Brandy Jones from Houston, Texas, serving as your science communication fellow. And I'm going to pass it over to our scientist. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the midnight to 4 a.m. watch. Mm. I'm Amber Saravalo, sitting in the science chair from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Hi everyone, um, my name is Megan Lubetkin and I am the watch lead for the 12 to 4. Welcome. Um, Megan, what do you think about this amount of sediment? That looks great. Okay. You don't need to do any more. See if it stays.
Hello everyone, I am Mary Dury and I am the data logger for 12 to 4. That was a very strange grip. <laughs> it's a very full push core. Um, I'm Kylie Pasternak. I'm sitting Argus. I'm Gabby Inglis, and I'm sitting Herc. Uh, I am Nia Beckler, and I am sitting Nav. I'm Ryan Leung, and I am video engineer. So currently we are exploring the western platform of Palmyra Atoll. Um, trying to collect some sediment right now. Please feel free to send us your questions. That looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Good job, Gabby. We shall see how yeah. far it lasts. Yeah, no worries. What? Yep. That's fine. Smooth and steady. We know where it'll be placed, so <laughs> we'll label it. <laughs> that idea of securing the starboard vert now. Raj got it. That was a really good idea. I would not have thought of that for a push core. Starboard vertical command turning off. That's correct, yeah. On the yeah. duster page. Yeah. Raj. Starboard. I clicked you. You want I can bump out the drawer or anything. Very nice. It's a little tap.
All right. Nice. Well, that looks great. actually all the way in. Yeah. <laughs> um, I cannot guarantee how much of that stayed in, but I think it was substantial. Yeah, you yeah. know what? Whatever it was, it's something, and that looked very challenging, so thank you. Oh, I'm not supposed <laughs> to make it look challenging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to make it look easy, guys. It looked so easy. It looked easy, Thanks. but we agree. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> sure. Either way, it's sediment. Sediment's yeah. hard to deal with. I could bump in that. Push cores are always sound quite good. a challenge. Yeah, they're always a thing. And with the like big gangly jaws, it's like it's crazy we haven't come up with some kind of better design for for these things. <sighs> Maybe a little magnetic uh, thing on the side like of the flaps jaws. Flaps close. I don't know where it gets the idea that I want to see like butt cam like <laughs> really really large. Just exclusively, <laughs> yeah, just just the bend strength. So is this our first official push core in this area? Yeah, yeah. this is our first push core of the cruise. Hey, they say congrats, you killed it. Gabby gets the glow. That's right. <laughs> it's not easy. So, let's see here. Oops. So I think what you were up against there oh, was really? the, uh, it, should it be was a bunch really of hard to yeah. get that in. Like, I spent a lot no of worries. time, like, wiggling. Wed wedging like, it, yeah. No worries. It just didn't want to go in. <laughs> oh, what jar was that, Gabby? Or where did, where did that um, go? It went... Second one from the back, <coughs> second one from the stern. Okay. Would anybody like to give a recap of the life that we've discovered so far? Yeah, um, we can do that in just Should a moment maybe, once we figure out where we're heading and we'll um, start getting moving later. and then we can chat. Okay. Got it. Uh, yeah, where are we heading? Shall we Yeah, can we get a little... Can we get a little zoom out and yeah. overview? Oh, and did you, this is where the sample came from, right here. That hole. This one? Yep, that's the one. That's the one. All right. So uh, we're sort of in this little flat here. Um, after cresting the top of the first ridge that we climbed, Great. and we're getting ready it looks like to climb another really big ridge system as we head shoulder towards our final waypoints excellent all right so we'll be heading towards waypoint seven then let's um let's make our way so as we go between where we are now and waypoint seven if we can, can we try to do a little bit more kind of light zigzagging? How do you, how do the pilots feel about that? I love zigzagging. That sounds great. Awesome. Raj, uh, when you say light zigzagging, what would you like that to look like from a ship movement perspective? Um, well, I think if we can have the gen that kind of average movements just be towards waypoint seven and not going too far off this ridge, but just kind of the the width of, I'm, I'm kind of like telestrating on high pack, which is not helpful. But um, here, maybe you draw your cursor a little bit between. Like yeah. This? Yeah, maybe not quite that much. A little bit more than that, split the difference. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. That looks perfect. Uh, shall I call in, you, you want an average heading and then we'll do zigzagging with the vehicles or it, do you want to think that's possible if we do an average heading for that um, kind of movement if we do small steps I okay. think we absolutely we just need to make sure there's enough layback and you have enough mobility with the vehicles okay how far is waypoint seven uh it is 587 meters from where we are currently okay um if the pilots are good with that we could maybe start with that and see how it's working for us and then if we need to adjust we can that sounds great the only thing that you know, the only thing that would hamper my ability to zigzag is if the train gets super rough or if um, we're just moving too fast and I can't keep up. But cool. otherwise, there's no reason to think it would be difficult to zigzag back and forth. Perfect. Uh, um, what's our bearing again? Uh, the waypoint here is at a bearing of 9.74 from where we are currently. Oh, okay. Um, and would, would a 20 meter step, is that going to give you enough mobility to zigzag? Like just incrementally. Um, okay, so uh, can you explain steps? the short steps to me? 
Uh, that way we have time to pause and and give you all the mobility with the tether. I no? don't think that will be a problem. I think you can do longer steps. Okay. This is very easy terrain to navigate. Sure, sounds good. I'll uh, I'll start with 100 then. If that works. We can go to the shorter steps if the if science wants the zigzags to be bigger. Yeah, okay. that sounds perfect. Sounds good. I think we can start off with smaller zigzags as we're in the sediment, but once we see some rocks, then we can do a bit wider ones. Yes, I've been instructed rock-wise to go for 20 centimeters and to fill up the rest of our quota. Excellent. Roger that. Bridge now. 20 centimeters is really big potato. <laughs> <laughs> Can we step 100 zero zero meters at a heading of 010 one zero, or bearing 010? Zero one zero? All right. Roger. Okay, I've got my heading zero one zero. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Um, also, pilot, just for your awareness, I'm getting a yellow uh, flash coming in and out on the DVL, and if it starts to be a problem, we might have to do a DVL reset. Uh, it's holding fine right now, but so the yellow flash. I think is just about um, whether we have Doppler lock or not. Okay. And when we're sitting on the bottom, we won't have it often. Um, we'll be down to zero beams. Um, so we probably could do a Doppler lock right now or a, a reset right now because the Doppler is way over here. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been necessary, but um, let's just do it. Let me get let me get a little clear of this. Um, so the reason when you get a lot of yellow, you want to do a Doppler reset is because every time you lose Doppler lock, um, you get like more error introduced to your Doppler and it wanders more and more and more. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you see a lot of yellow, you might need to do a Doppler reset, but it's more dictated on how far the Doppler line departs from the position of the vehicle. Roger. And need is a funny thing here. Um, our, the Sonardyne is so good that we do everything off of it, and we don't really need the Doppler right now. Okay. Sometimes the Doppler is used for, um, if we're doing like very precision mapping, um, and, um, and they want to use Doppler data, um, then we would do very careful resets before like a small mosaic pattern. Mm -hmm. um, but typically, uh, it doesn't matter quite as much, and it's more of a matter of like preference and style, I would say. Okay. Um, as long as we have the vehicle <laughs> actually sitting on the USBL points. Yep. Yeah. I um, mean, it, it's all, it's tracking fine. Yeah. Totally. Um, I just, you know. So, yeah. If it starts to be a problem, we can reset it. Otherwise, yeah. I think it's totally. totally fine. Did that make sense or yeah, did I just explain to you minute. something that you already yep. knew? No, um, it made sense. I need to sit down and look through some of the literature about it because I understand what you're saying, but I don't understand all the background. Okay. Um, and it would be useful, I think, because it's a big part of what we're doing. So. Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, shrimpy. Mm -hmm. Happy World Water Day. Thank you for letting us know. Nice. Go for Zoom video. Hello, shrimp. I love these little shrimp. Greetings. <laughs> They're so fun to watch. Greetings and salutations, Mr. Shrimp. Like la 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 la. Como se va? <laughs> really mesmerizing the legs. <laughs> yeah, they're amazing. I also really like um, when crinoids swim. Oh, that's so yes. fun. It's really bizarre. Tugging on me. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe so a little cute. Bit. Okay, go wide. Okay, ship's moving. Argus hasn't quite started to move yet. Um, but I can do a, I'll do a first zigzag here. Nice. What speed did you call that in at point three? Uh, it's a good question. I don't think I specified. Um, we're going at point three. Is that a good speed? Yeah, that's a good speed, Roger. Is the, 
bottom going to be like this for a while? Because oh, uh, we're in we're in this um, plateau, kind of okay. in between the ridge systems. So I think once we get up forward, it'll start to become steep again. Um, okay. But for the time being, it's going to be like this. Okay. Okay, video. You can zoom past all the the jewelry there. Thank you. Great. Oh, um, do we want to, actually, I think this is something I can do. One second, I think I'm gonna try and put the 4K up in front of me right. again. Um, I, you, I can do it. Like here? I think I can do it. Up, up there again? No. Or no, right I'll put it down in front of me. Okay. Um, can I give it a go? I don't think you have those buttons. Oh, that I don't have the buttons. Right, I you don't have the buttons. You could do it, but you don't have the buttons. Do you have a button for I monitor four? I do. Okay, <laughs> give it. <laughs> Excellent. Bring it on. Press the button. You can tell it's Pull the, the lever crunch. <laughs> I did it. I am significantly less punchy when I was than when I was last in this seat on <laughs> the four to eight. During dinner relief. During dinner relief. Go ahead. Yeah, I did uh, a few minutes ago. I'll turn it on again. Blue is hot. <laughs> Raj. Um. I wish I knew more fish IDs. Oh, I should have gone after that fish. I'm sorry. Oh, you We're do going not. Back. You, <laughs> no, you don't no, have to. No, nope. it's I too late. I noticed. <laughs> and nobody will get any ice cream at all. <laughs> You guys want to take a look on 4K at that little fishy? Sure. I honestly think 4K is our best chance to um, see to him? see sm uh, things very close in front of the vehicle, just with all that stuff on the on the porch. That sounds good. Yeah, go for zoom. color. Hello, fish. <laughs> That's like a purple hue, a dark purple. Wow. Is that the 4K shot right there? Yes. Um, yes. Ryan, did you get the 4K? Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, it nice was on one, stat feed three. Awesome.
Can you go wide on 4K? Uh, can you go wide on 4K? Yep. <laughs> My eyes kind of crossed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I had to look away, actually. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you remember the, the thing on the back of the cereal boxes you'd put your face really close to and then, like, slowly pull away? Yeah, like yeah, the magic object. eye. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it was, totally. like, it was like that, but nauseating. Yeah. Magic eye, that's what it was called? Yeah. I, I didn't know it had a name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely did. Cool. I used to love them. I had books of them. What? And we'd like practice all the time, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Someone says it's a tripod fish. Was that a tripod? What do you think, Amber? It looked like it could be. I'm a geologist. <laughs> 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 there were not there was no manganese crust on that thing. <laughs> and not been sitting so long enough. I uh, do not study the living. <laughs> I can recognize my sharks, my rays, I, a few eels. I'm, I'm currently muted. trying to look it up, but our um, Amber, can you go ahead and put your um, microphone closer to your mouth? Ah, sorry about that. Can everybody hear me now? Yes, mm -hmm. sounds great. All right, my microphone was a little bit off there. I'm actually looking up IDs now, and I think I found it, but I don't know what the uh, scientific name of the tripod fish is at the moment. So, not sure yet. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Another guess is an Ipnopsidae, or a spiderfish. What's up? I dearly love doing zigzags like this. Let's see if I can get it to work. Uh, it's not. Oh, I know what it is. There we go. Um, on autos, yeah. Just Is that a have you done this before? In the 4K camera, yeah. Looks, Looks like it. It's like it's a love of mine. <laughs> and then it's just very satisfying to draw that like perfect <laughs> zigzag. I've never done a zigzag with the autos, but I've used the autos. Yeah. It's kind of lovely, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Bridge now. Hey Alexi, can we step one zero zero meters bearing zero one zero at zero point three knots? Does the bridge go over SBL? Or just the nav side of the conversation? I think it depends on if they... Depends on the bridge? Yeah, if they oh, turn really? it on. They, they can listen to SPL for sure, and I think they can talk on it if they so choose. Raj. Cool. Science, how do you feel about Ooh, ooh. Oh, do you want to look at it? Can we yes. get a zoom? Yeah. Looks pretty. <coughs> I had to break up my perfect little zigzag before <laughs> I even really got started. 
was sad. <laughs> it means that there was something to look at, though. Yeah, it does. Although I'm impressed with this, this trough full of sediment. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Okay, video, go for Zoom. I'm all the way It's pretty. Data, do you have the capture you need? Yep. Okay, awesome. Go wide video. Is it all right to take bubble for a gauge check? Yes. Looks like Thank you. maybe it's one of these. Maybe yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Landed on the same decision. The Look at us. <laughs> trom tromic tromicosoma. I was going to go a little broader to the <laughs> kind of theridia. That Third also day. works. <laughs> the Tremicosoma his, hispidum, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Both on pronunciation and if it's fat. <laughs> <laughs> it's very pretty. Is that a little fish? Looks Pages like it. Are good. Yeah, we should be on deck at noon is the plan. Yep. It's ideal for us. <laughs> <laughs> Science, how do you feel about this zigzag, this like rate of covering the bottom, this width of zigging and zagging? Um, this this feels pretty good. Yeah, we I think for the next um what are, remind me what those white contours are, Nav? Uh those are ten meters. Okay, cool. So maybe for the next like thirty meters or so yeah. we can uh, zig and zag a little bit less until we get kind of up on this ridge here and then we can basically we want to start zigzagging if we to cover more of this kind of interesting rocks that we're hoping to see so, oh okay I see yeah so it doesn't matter quite so much so right board. yeah right here we're, we're just approaching the ridge so yeah it Ooh, doesn't really another matter fish.
thanks for the heads up. You know how the gauges get. They were doing some Googling on the last watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We have a curious question about how is it that you can make sure the camera is pointed dead ahead? Does the camera have a measure of the pan and the tilt per angles, or is it just a guess? So our camera actually doesn't have any telemetry. Um, it is uh, the pan and the tilt on the forward-looking camera on Herc is run by hydraulics that are run off of solenoid valves really only has one speed of moving. Mm. Um, and we basically, you know, by feel, decide where we're aiming. A um, little tripod fish or something like it. Um, it. Yeah, so in answer to that question, there's, um, there isn't really any, uh, there isn't any measurement system to figure out where the pan and the tilt are on Herc. But on Argus, it's a little electric motor that runs it. Um, and we do have feedback from that motor telling us where it is. The position. Got it. Do you see that scoop out in bubble and in four and in four K? Like the maybe potentially like beaked whale scoops? They're pretty Wait. amazing. Oh I thought you meant that scoop. Oh no, sorry. Not that I scoop. was like, yeah, yeah, I'll look at the scoop for you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant the same thing. <laughs> oh geez. You know what I mean though, like how the beaked whales like scoop out uh, the the sediment. I did I just, not know that. It's yeah. so deep to imagine like a mammal down here. Like, yeah. I'm just having trouble with that, with imagining that. That is, it is totally wild. Um, wasn't uh, Lee Marsh studying studying those? I don't know. Was yeah. she? I, I think we came across some of those markings and thought that that was what was happening. And I believe she then looked into it. Oh, um, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, that was several years ago, though, so I can't quite remember, but... But yeah, that's that's remarkable. It would be very cool to see. <laughs> I can't. I can only imagine. <laughs> You'd have to be very lucky. Yeah. Like what? Like How who has the you? patience to come down this far? <laughs> like it takes us hours to get down here. I I think that just their entire perception of time and space mm. is just so, so different. Right. I would love to be a whale. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be an incredible experience. Yeah. I think so too. It's like, you're the largest thing that exists in the world, but you live in the largest space and it doesn't matter at all. And you just sort of fly around. Yeah. And you, and you like, get to sing with your friends and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and that your sounds perception great. of time and space is just incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just chilling. <laughs> well, I don't know. And I'm just chilling. <laughs> I don't know if this is scientifically right or not, or if I just read something that seemed cool. Um, but they were saying that like our 
a, 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 a things sense of a living thing's sense of time is related to its uh, speed of metabolism. Is that right? Mm, that makes sense. Like so, flies metabolize faster, and so like mm -hmm. everything else is slow. Like we're we're really slow compared to them. So that's how they can ev evade um, fly swatters and stuff like that. They perceive things differently than we do. That makes sense. It's like when amphibians like freeze into like lakes. Oh, so weird. And they just stop. They don't eat. Ooh, I just got the chills. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wild. It's really cool. It's a wild world. There is, I think, research too into like like people that fall through the ice. Mm. Um, if you can get yourself to the edge of the ice, there's a chance that because you've been frozen, you can be resuscitated over a longer period of time. Really? Yeah. Like your heart is more likely to bounce back if you've been frozen. Yeah, that makes sense. What are those two cameras? One is the wire and, the okay, Raj. Maybe because of the Ooh, bird. feather star. Maybe? Or is that a brittle star? Uh, or feather star? Uh, yeah. I can't, yeah. We were, we were really chef. stretched, <coughs> Raj. <laughs> Gabby, can you join SPL? Okay, you are can on you SPL. Can you step one zero or zero meters muted. bearing zero one zero? speed of 0 0.3 knots. I was are playing tricks. <laughs> it's okay. That's a hard word. Holothurian and Nidarian and not for me. <laughs> uh, we are comfortable and happy at this pace I don't know. still, yes. It's just confusing. Cool. I like Check out the s potential scoops in uh, Argus. In Argus. Yeah. Those There's are like a oh. couple in a row and then another couple in a row in the opposite direction. Those are very interesting. Come on, rocks, where are you? <laughs> the contours don't get too, too much tighter. Seven. They may yeah. make it a little steeper above us, but it's not I see that. super significant. Yeah. Well, we're just getting up on it right now. But, yeah. So we could also speed up. Like, I'm still zigging and zagging just to kill time. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, um, yeah go ahead. Oh, no, I, it would, it's fine if we do 0.4 or 0.5 to me, if, if you guys don't feel like you'll be missing anything. I Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. I think if we see any rocks, then we'll just slow down when that happens. 
Yeah, let's go point four just so we don't get too much layback if yeah. we need to stop for rocks. Raj, sounds good. Bridge nav, can we increase speed to 0 0.4 knots? <clears throat> Roger, thank you. Would anybody like to share what is your favorite specimen that you've ever collected um, from the seed floor? Ooh, I've got a good one. Ooh, I, oh, I love I these mine. questions. Yeah, right. it's really good. All right, who wants to go first? Gab? Um, yeah. We collected a meteorite. Oh, what? A meteorite? Okay, a particle <laughs> of a meteorite. <laughs> <laughs> Off the Oregon coast with the NASA Cosmic Dust Curator. <laughs> That was an amazing That's four days. That's a title. <laughs> that is a title. Yep. Wow. That was my favorite. That's a job? Someone has that job? Yeah. Somebody has that job and their title is NASA Cosmic Dust Curator. I love it. Did they guys. embrace the title? Like, did they did they really that, think it was cool? He was entirely without pretense. He was, like, completely unselfconscious about it. Like, it was not, it was not a, like, embracing of it. It was, like... That, I don't know. Was, was it kind of like, this is just factually accurate. Yes. This is my title. <laughs> this is what I do. He, okay. uses, he uses weather radar to track meteorites to figure out exactly where they hit. And he was spot on. Wow. And it was amazing. That's very impressive. That's I remember great. hearing about that cruise. Yeah. It was just four days actually in between cruises on a transit. It was just very opportunistic. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah. That was a good one. Who's next? I can go. Um, I was on in, so in 2019, they found the whale fall, and I came back out in 2020, nice. and we collected some more mm -hmm. from that whale fall, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was awesome. Getting those yeah. bones. <laughs> the whale fall might be my favorite highlight. That's oh, yeah. awesome. I feel like the whale fall is like my biggest piece of FOMO ever, except for maybe the sperm whale. <laughs> like, I desperately want to see a whale fall. It's like, really that would be cool. so amazing. That like, is so cool. Yeah, I, I was, yeah. wish I was there for the first time they found it. Yeah, that moment that, like, something looms out of the... Oh, oh sorry. I spoke over somebody. I think you're good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That moment when something... Ooh, fish. ...looms out of Ooh, the... Ooh, that might be shark family. Are oh, you yeah. serious? Can we Shark get or ray yeah. family. Can we Look get a at zoom? that tail. Yeah, absolutely. We need to. We might even need to have a side angle of this guy. Sure. Excellent. Go for zoom video. Hmm. Okay, I am completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Not on common when we're talking about living organisms. <laughs> Makes you feel any better I'm bad at fish, too. Fish are hard. Do we have the... Sh oh, nice. Good job, video. That looks Excellent. great. That's a cool one. Do we have the shot we need? Uh, yes. Okay. Awesome. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to square up, actually. Can you go wide again? Yep. Okay. Now you can push past. <laughs> Was that a rat tail? That's a guess for... That's come up. Um, Maybe. I think they're pretty common. I, yeah, I don't think that was quite a rat tail. They look... I think they don't have... They're a little more taily. They're, yeah, they're more, <laughs> a little bit more of that rat tail <laughs> going on. <laughs> a little bit less I'm of the not quite sure what arms. to say to that. <laughs> it's a very scientific term there. <laughs> a little bit more punk. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Ooh, hello, hello, Thurian. Hello.
If, if I call something colloquially uh, mermaid's fingers, do you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I was very serious. Yeah, I don't Well, because I Googled it. I it's don't a science know. thing, and it was a sample. Well, it wasn't a sample. It came up on Argus as an accident. But <laughs> there was a bunch of them, and that, I I don't remember what they're called. And I, what comes to mind is, like, protozoa, but it's, like, not that. But everything sounds like that to me, that science. What, <laughs> what, what kind of thing is it? Is it, like, a swimming thing? Or is it, like, gelatinous? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> It's 1 a.m. <laughs> um, uh, it is. It was like a um, like a big gummy candy, sort of. Like it was sort of like the like size a of a fat finger. <laughs> <laughs> this description this is actually scientific, guys. It has like nubbins on it. Like, is it a nudibranch? Oh, oh, well, I don't know if I'd be swimming. N like nudibranchs. Oh, you're, you're, you're off SPL. There's a there's a holotherian that just like <laughs> floats in the water column. That's just like totally like pill shaped almost. I'm gonna do some investigating. <laughs> it looks like a Mikey Nike, like a gummy candy. <laughs> Ooh. It, it was like flat on one end and then rounded on the other, and it had ridges on it, and it felt like mm -hmm. like it was the first time. I usually don't get to touch the samples. And because it was just on the vehicle, I just p picked it up and took it off. And it was like, it, it was like soft and squishy, but like still kept its like, it didn't just totally decompress under my fingers, you know? It, it has some Pretty like, nice. some hmm. cushion you, to it. It probably is a holotherian. But I, I just know that they were like colloquially calling them mermaid fingers. Interesting. I, I, I would guess holotherian too, because there's these like places in the water column where they're just like thick. Yeah. Um, there's just tons and tons and tons of them, and they get lodged in the vehicle a little. I would, I would guess that's what it is. That was really cool. Uh, another guess is pyrosome. Oh. But that's it. That's it. That's it. That was oh. it. Oh, and it's it was very close to pyrosome. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> it's a different p word. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it's it's not a holotherian. That's the thing I'm thinking of. It's a pyrosome. pyrosome. I remember them. Oh, those are the ones yeah. that I'm thinking of too. Oh, those are cool. They and the water kit. column will be just like totally thick with them. Yeah. Pyrosomes, yep, yeah, totally. Thank you so much. <laughs> what are pyrosomes related to? <laughs> Can you like what's they're it? related? Free floating colonial tunicates. They're tunicates. Tunicate. Layers of open tunicates. ocean and warm seas. Wow. Huh. What's we've a tunicate? And apparently they can get very large. What's a tunicate? <laughs> can you give me another example <laughs> of a tunicate? Uh, like something that I we've would seen know. things. Um, We've seen things that when usually when we see like the tunicates on the bottom, we just call them tunicates. They're usually like little clear squishies. They're, They're blobs. Oh, yeah. garage. <laughs> In the glob family. <laughs> <laughs> One of the many blobs we look at. <laughs> Globus globidae. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have a favorite sample because I've never taken a sample, but uh, I have. But you've been part of the team. Yeah, that's when we true. sample, that's true. You mark when samples go down too. Um, <laughs> my my favorite moment was um, mapping. We found a target. <laughs> in the backscatter? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm really yeah. like, that sounds <laughs> super exciting. What is that? Uh, mapping, we oh, that's wow. the backscatter, oh, and it was a... Uh, Can we get a zoom on that also? Go for zoom. It was a 1940s submarine. Oh, we, wow. We dove on it, and oh, it wow. was a... What is this called again? A holothorn? Um, yeah, yeah or a uh, sea cucumber is the common name. Mm. Black is... Black is back. <laughs> Stylish. I feel like it might be a dark purple. Yeah. Yeah, like a oh, very I love deep purple. I love the color and the shape yeah, it's of these. Beautiful. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Eggplant. <laughs> oh, rat oh, no. stuff eggplant. in the way of the porch. Okay, you can go in a little tighter. Wow, look at the different sediment patterns in Argus. Yeah. Okay. Little mounds. That's quite amazing to look at. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's wild. All the little burrows, all the little scoops, all the trails. Snacks. <laughs> Seafloor snacks. <laughs> little Mike and Ike's. Seafloor Mike and Ike's. <laughs> Pyrosomes. Pyrosomes. <laughs> See, I, if I don't have like a fun way to remember a scientific name, it's very difficult, which yeah. is where Tina Turner 4 came from. Tina Turner 4. <laughs> I oh my that. gosh. Tina I wish my I was told Tina that Turner in invertebrate zoology. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. It's going to be my Halloween costume. It's a pretty good Halloween costume. It's an excellent Halloween costume. Tina Turner 4? Yeah. yeah. Another favorite She's sample sassy. of She's mine was a uh, sea cucumber. <laughs> That's a common name is sea pigs. Oh, They're yeah. Goto planes. Those are awesome. That's like my favorite thing to show. Show people pictures of. Just because they're so crazy looking. Ooh, little fish. Little one. We have someone in the audience wanting everyone to finish sharing their favorite specimen. They really want to know your answers. Oh, yeah. Could you finish what you were saying about the 1940s? Oh, yeah, it was what a was submarine. It? Submarine. It was submarine. a wrecked sub. Oh. Um, it was the USS Muscalung, uh, and it had been intentionally sunk. But then the position was lost, oh. and so it was technically a discovery, um, and it was it was pretty cool, especially because uh, we mappers don't get quite as much discovery glory. Mm. Sure, this yeah. was a big one for us. That's very cool. It is. That is kind of like a sample. Is it in a way? <laughs> it's a mapping sample. It's data. <laughs> And sample specimens are data in a broad sense. It's They're also creatures. Well, it's really yes, hard but existence. with a multi-beam to <laughs> see if a wreck isn't Just oriented kidding. exactly hmm. right, you almost be, will never find it. Mm -hmm. um, it has to be like in an exact depth range and oriented in seafloor that it you know, stands out against so it doesn't look like terrain. And it's really quite rare to be able to like spot something in the data rather than, you know, maybe see something and then take a look or be tipped off based on an educated guess. Uh, it's, it does not happen often. So we get excited when it does. And then I'm not sure who else hasn't gone, but for me at least, I don't have a favorite specimen yet because really? I only have just you don't have started. A favorite rock? I mean, I have a favorite rock, but I haven't. I want my favorite specimen to be one that I collect. I'm going to be biased that way, so I'm going to hold out on my answer until the end of this cruise. Okay, that's fair. I have a favorite uh, creature and which was not sampled and then i have a favorite sample um if that's if that's permitted it is yes. permitted yes. We'll allow <laughs> judges, it. judges excellent the judges will allow it <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in the the rule play okay um also shout out to paula from noisy if you're listening in um so my favorite creature would definitely be the deep staria enigmatica um, we saw this incredible Medusa jellyfish um, when we were exploring the Revilla Hijero archipelago offshore Mexico. And it, it really was not just an amazing creature, but the occurrence of seeing it was spectacular. We were descending through the water column and we had Brennan Brennan's low light camera on. So we were doing these tests of uh, watching bioluminescence. We had all the lights off. And then we saw just off in the distance, this kind of like, for me, what it looked like was the way that a kid for Halloween would dress up as like a ghost with a sheet over his head. And so it was just kind of this like floating sheet that was off in the distance. and. It was dark everywhere else because the lights were off. And as we approached it, 
it got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it was massive and then it started to undulate and like pillow across the the screen and we turned the lights on and then kind of dim them and the bottom of it cinched close and it was this big large uh, medusa that had this kind of geometric mesh outside uh, structure that was part of its feeding uh, system and on the inside which is so wild it had a benthic crustacean that lived inside of it what? <laughs> i almost feel like i saw a highlight of that yeah there was a lot of highlights of these so if you search deep staria enigmatica on youtube i'm sure you'll see a highlight video of of our recording of this event it was honestly one of the most spectacular things i've ever seen um Sounds wonderful. Yeah, and we had just the perfect setting to get incredible imagery. We had so many interesting cameras and different systems running at the same time. Um, and then my favorite sample that we actually brought up uh, was also on the same cruise, and those were lava balloons, which is something that I've studied. So lava balloons are um, called such because they are basaltic rocks that are um, products from a submarine eruption. But unlike most basalt, which is very heavy and will just, like a, like a rock, will just remain on the sea floor. Like Ooh, sponge. Like we've seen. Nice. Off in the bottom right. Yeah, bottom left. it's outside of our field now, but it was in the bottom right. I mean, bottom, bottom left. left. But yeah, these, these lava balloons are so gas rich that they will actually erupt into the water water column from the seafloor and rise all the way up to the sea surface until they crackle mm. and pop and Ooh, what is that guy? Wow. What is what is this? That what looks is like this? a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean for sparkles. It's okay. It but I think it fun. is appropriate. This one. In case this they, they don't know. <laughs> if the sparkles didn't give it away. Wow, that's, um, that's an odd one. That is an odd one. Is he sleeping? It, in Greetings. It just looks Who are you? like the shape of a gulper eel if it wasn't like all, wow. all collapsed. No, wow. that's a, that's, oh, what? Oh my gosh. Is is its stomach outside of its oh. body right oh, now? Oh, dude, it's having a movement, yeah. possibly. <laughs> 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 we 100% <laughs> got in the middle of a movement. <laughs> Yeah, yes. it looks like it's. So <laughs> we called it at a pretty that private moment. So <laughs> <for> <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry, little guy. We Excuse apologize. Us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we still happy with this pace? I'm happy with it. All right. Bridge now. Um. Science, are you happy with this pace? Are we going um, point, point 0.3 or point 0.4? Point 0.4. Point four. Yeah, that's that works for me. Uh, could we step 100 zero zero meters bearing 010 zero zero at a speed of 0 0.4 knots? He's already dialing it in. He knows what I'm going to say. It's all good. A couple people in the chat said it was an acorn worm. Nice. That sounds right. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'll see it right here. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, there's a good example on the Imbari website of a purple acorn worm that looks pretty similar. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. So I guess when it moves, its head has this, like, swimming mechanism. Wow.
Well, to finish up my favorite sample, <laughs> basically, um, these, these rocks are mostly glass, and they're the only known occurrence of something that we call reticulite. Do you know what that is? I actually do not. Please continue. Reticulite is a very beautiful, um, and actually very common on Hawaii. I, I've seen reticulite at some of the Hawaii volcanoes. It's like a kind of uh, glass mesh. And basically the way it's made is when there's all these gas bubbles in, in, in the lava and it erupts, um, and it cools really, really quickly, it's gonna form a glass immediately. And then the only thing that's gonna be left is the interstitial spaces between the bubbles. So it'll end up just looking like this kind of three-dimensional web of very thin, light like brown glass. Steel wool, but like glass. Like steel wool, but glass, exactly. Ooh, yeah. that's cool. And so it's, it is, it's fairly common at, um, at subaerial volcanoes, so volcanoes on land. Um, but in the submarine setting, it's, there's a number of reasons why that would be really uncommon. But at uh, this particular eruption that I was studying. Ooh, hold on, fish. What do we have here? We would like a close up if possible. Hello. Okay, if I don't startle him. Oh, look, and then. Oh, and there's can another one. Can we try in the 4K? It looks pretty clear there. Yeah, 4K does look good. Hello, fish. <laughs> okay, go for Zoom. Oh, I feel like I had just looked this guy up. That looks oh, more like a rat tail. Mm. <laughs> Thoughts? I don't know. That kind of rounded head and small, small fins. It's a bit small though, might be young. Okay, go wide. You can zoom past all the, yeah, there you go. Cool. Hey, there's the bottom. <laughs> Sorry. Found it. Oh, pilots, just a heads up. It looks like the wind is kicking up. Yeah. Okay. Thank We're you. sustained around 22, 23 knots right now. Okay. Thank you. How's the ship holding? Uh, ship's holding using a little bit more of the jet pump than we were, uh, but it not near maxing. No, yeah, not maxing or anything like okay. that. Is there uh is it 25 knots and we wake Emil? Or no hard and fast rule like that? Oh, we have more than 24 knots over here. It's like a no-go. Um, for launches though, right? Yeah, for one, once we're in, um, it's more about when we can. I'm not sure what okay. the protocol would be once we're in the water. I'll keep an eye on the tensions and stuff. Yeah. And It says consider immediate recovery. So. Okay. Oh yeah, you can feel it. The ship's starting to move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's a squall. Yeah. And, like we'll just be through it first, and like really fast. I'll call up and see what uh, Lexi thinks. Okay. a spike.
Did he say quick squall? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. We're in a place where if we fall off position, it's not a big deal. Which way do you think the wind's coming from? Just ahead of us? Zero nine zero? Oh, okay. Okay. Those are nice gouge marks. Yeah. yeah, those are big. Nav, I always, I always just look at the, the. Can you give me a zoom video? The true wind speed, but those other, the weather pack and the bridge, they're always like quite a bit off or different when we have these squalls. Is that reliable? Those are really amazing. Um, I'm okay. just looking at Go Grafana. You, 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 ah, okay. No worries. Yeah, sometimes just depending on where sensors are placed on a ship. Gotcha. Um, it can affect, it can have differences. coming up in the Argus view on the left. Nav, you can put in another move. In weather, I worry a little bit more about losing momentum. Like if you s come to a stop and there's weather, sometimes, yeah, weird, weird things happen. They can't get going again in the right direction. Ooh, is that another fish down there? Maybe. <laughs> Go for zoom. Yeah, another one of those little things that we were calling tripod fish. Hello. Oh, hello, little guy. Okay, go wide. What's that, Nav? Awesome. Thank you, video. Gotcha, yeah. I was just what I what I was referring to is that in in Grafana there's three different um, types of sources for the wind speed, and I I always just use the the true one the the blue line, it, which kind of looks like an average or something, but I don't think it is, and I just wondered why the the weather pack and the bridge wind are always kind of um, a bit scattered when we have these peaks and troughs, but maybe that's just because of their placement or. And what the the weather pack is relative to, since it's a relative wind speed. Can you show me that? Can you bring yeah. that up again? Yeah. What one? What is that weather? Weather. Oh, I see. Okay. The wind speed. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that does look exactly like a squall. Yeah. Popping yeah. right up.
Another question is, what is the weirdest thing? It could be creature, terrain, or object you have encountered at these depths. Mm. A flip-flop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> A flip-flop. For real? <laughs> uh, not quite at these depths. That was that was last year. <laughs> um, I think the Papahānuʻōkolakea ones is that the one where they found a flip flop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. But I'm good. definitely going to go with the singular flip flop because it wasn't a pair; it was just the one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got to be the expedition leader's hat. Oh, <laughs> that's good stuff. <laughs> that was pretty funny. What yeah. was that one? Uh, the expedition leader's hat had blown off. Um, I can't remember the that context. Was, yeah, I can. It so we were. It was yeah. on, it was on Amelia, so yeah. we were searching for yeah. Amelia Earhart's uh, airplane that was mysteriously um, un lost, and there's a there's a movie about it, mm -hmm. a National <laughs> Geographic check it out. film. You can check it out for more information. But but yeah, we were we were really searching with great detail all around Nicomororo, um an island or an atoll rather that was suspected to be a possible landing place for for Amelia. Um, and we really, really searched that place so well that um, one of the folks on the ship who had lost his hat over the side, side of the ship, we actually had found it <laughs> with the ROVs, which is pretty remarkable considering how much ground we were covering. Wow. <laughs> Did y'all pick it up? We we did. We brought it up. <laughs> it was it was like a sample. <laughs> he was stoked. And he about was it. so excited. Nah, how lucky he put is the wet, wet hat on his head. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Probably nice and cooling too. <laughs> it just um shows how good we are at finding lost things. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> Welcome to Nautilus Live, Mr. Cottrell's first environmental science class. Hey, Welcome. Hello. hello. They are here from Georgia. Welcome. Good morning. What grade is that science class? It's a high school class. High they didn't really class. say what well, grade level? While they're listening, um, the Nautilus Live web webpage has like um, bios for everyone in the core of exploration. Um, so if you're um, interested in this line of work, it's a good resource for the many different pathways that you could take towards doing um, any one of these roles, um, <coughs> whether it's uh, video, science, uh, ROV, um, sometimes they have like artists come out and contribute um, in a, in a to, to, to be able to um, communicate science in uh, a different way than strictly academic. Um, but that is what I was looking at um, to help kind of formulate my next steps in my career uh, was other people's... Uh, Ooh, another fish. Maybe a rat too. Other people's pathways. That's awesome. Um, Kevin, that was for you. The depths up there. The depths for the vehicles. It's right there. Oh, there you go. I was looking at the ones that were. Yeah. Oh, the Grafana, yeah. Well, that's okay. But that works just as well. <laughs> it's okay. Raj. Camden County High School. So please visit nautiluslive.org and check out the different pathways to join the team. It's very inspirational. Yeah. Um, science, we are approaching waypoint seven here. Uh, shall we just kind of continue on as we have been? Yeah. Um, can we get a little bit of a zoom so I can see where way waypoint eight is yeah. and the relative slope? For sure. Excellent. 
Okay, yeah, it looks pretty much like the same kind of slope. Yep, we can yep. just keep on chugging along just as we have been. Roger. Are we still doing about point, point 0.4? Yep. Okay, great. Uh, unless you would like to slow down? No, that this is fine. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Hopefully we see some, some rocks sometime soon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we will keep making headway. Bridge now. Oh, there's a holothurian. Could we step one zero zero meters bearing zero one four at zero point four knots? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Can Ooh. we get a zoom on that? Like um, maybe a Brzingid sea star? Looks, looks like it. it. It's got a really cool angle on the current. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> it looks like a hair comb. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some kind of crown. Yeah, go for zoom. Gorgeous. Oh, that's not going to go well in auto depth. Sorry, we can try that again. Can I try zooming with the 4K, Gab? Oh yeah, I'll line it up with the 4K. Okay, cool. Okay, you can go wide on uh, Herxus, and I will bring the 4K into it. Yeah, go for it. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, I can get you better light too. Oh, no, I can't. That's the best <laughs> light I can get you. That's pretty good. That's great. Ryan, did you get that? And this is a crinoid? Uh, I think that type of sea star? Yeah. Oh, so this is a sea star. OK, we all sat here? Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Are we full wide on the 4K? Yes, we are full wide. Excellent. Thank you. Good job, Ryan. Thank you. If Herc goes profile, um, I try to get a beauty shot from Argus. <laughs> another holothurian and another fish and a sea urchin, maybe? Um, yep, that looks like a sea urchin. Gabby, I'm going to change my heading again. Okay. I, I had turned to get that shot, so I'm going to go back to zero one zero. Sounds good. Raj. We are, the ship is now tracking at zero one five. Roger. Roger. Okay, zero one five. Thank you. Nautilus began exploring in two thousand seven. Correct? Is that correct? Um, um two thousand. So the ship, I think, appeared on the scene in two thousand nine. Oh. Okay. Um, this organization was sort of together, and has been working together for a long time. Herc's been around since two thousand two. I think Argus has been around since nineteen ninety nine. Mm. Under various, um, and the organization has worked under various names, but has contained a lot of the same people. Like Mark's been around since the very beginning. Like I've seen pictures of Mark assembling Herc, um, which is pretty wild. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Nautilus came on the scene in 2009. Before that, this was a mobile system that you could pack up and ship to whatever ship you wanted to. So my first time sailing with Herc was on the um, Alliance. Mm -hmm. which is a NATO ship out of La Spezia, Italy. Cool. Wow. Um, and it's been on a bunch of ships, and now it's sort of a permanent fixture on the Nautilus. How long have they been uh, broadcasting on YouTube? When did they start there? I think, I don't know when the YouTube started. That was quite a bit later. It was almost exclusively on the Nautilus Live website for a few years, and mm -hmm. then I think they got the YouTube thing spun up. But um, 
I think maybe some of our like social media people who have been around for a while might might know better. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the YouTube thing started maybe five years ago or six years ago, but we've been live streaming for a long time just on the website, as Gabby said. I actually started watching Nautilus Live when I was in high school. Wow. Oh, are you serious? I didn't know that. Yep. That's super wild. <laughs> yep. I, I remember listening to Nautilus Live and being like really scared to ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would get like a little bit more confidence that I'd be doing my homework listening to it, asking questions. Y'all were in the med. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. Yep. I remember those days. Dream come Go true. Yeah, that's definitely true for me. How steep is the hill we're on right okay, now? Okay, go wide. Not super steep. Yeah, it's, you can, yeah, perfect. Thank you, video. Yep. So what is it about, like, 20% incline? It's a 50-meter uh, rise over a 169-meter span. 50 over 169? Yeah, ah. do the math here. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> you hear that, high school? You do use r slope. <laughs> this is 0.29. <laughs> We have another question. What depth has the most large species and what depth has the most bioluminescent I species? I don't want to freak out too much here, but this is a rock. Yes, I yes. do see that. <laughs> I, was, I was about to interrupt Brandy yeah. and say, <laughs> so we, we have, have found outcrop. <laughs> um, can we sorry, get a zoom? Sorry, Brandy. <laughs> no, that's yeah, okay. Let's get a zoom. Yes, see first, first rock here. of ours. <laughs> it is a 29% grade. I was pretty close. I said 20. All right. So nothing really growing on this guy, I think. Doesn't yeah. doesn't look like it. A little too sediment covered, probably. Yeah. OK, go wide. All right, maybe now we'll start seeing some more. Yeah, we can all keep an eye out on the sonar, too, in case we start to see something. Maybe that's a little bit too optimistic, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that did show up on the sonar, so. Great. It's good to know. Pilots were at 108 meter layback. Roger that. Roger. And winds way back down. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, did you get a time on the on how long it takes Argus to catch up? Oh no, I uh, have been meaning to do it, and I keep getting distracted. Okay. Next time we stop. We can do it. Uh, yeah. Do we uh, want to pause it all? We already moved on from the rock. Never mind. Yeah. It wasn't a super exciting rock. I just, I was a little. It's a good no, sign. No, it was rock. just the rock. first yeah. rock. <laughs> it's a good sign. Now we're, now first our time. eyes are ready to see more rock. <laughs> hey, Lexi, oh, is that a sponge? Step no. one, zero, or maybe zero a score. It's kind of hard to tell a sponge bearing. is if it's a yeah, sponge one, or the sediment having a weird yeah, score. Yeah, it's a white, a white thing on a white thing. light background. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Is it okay if I take bubble? 
Gabby. What's up? Is it all right if I use bubble? Yep. Were you asking us a question, Brandy? Oh, um, I think the question was, what depth has the most large species and what depth has the most bioluminescent species? Ooh, there's a fish. Oh, hello. Sort of a scrappy looking guy. Mm -hmm. That's probably a rat tail. It does look like a rat tail. Nice. Gosh. Um, I think that's a pretty hard question. That's a hard yeah. question. Yeah. I think a lot of the largest species are moving around. So I don't know if there would be a specific depth range that they most commonly spend their time in. Isn't there sort of a gigantism fe feature of existing in cold water? I w hmm. um. Um, I want to say yes, but I have nothing to back that up So there's with. like um, the giant isopods and the giant crabs. Hmm. I know that, and this is not to be taken as marine biology because I don't have a background in marine biology, but uh, larger animals have a better volume to surface area ratio, so it would make better sense. Better thermal properties. Yeah, they would, they would be much warmer. Maybe slower metabolisms as well. Yeah. yeah, maybe they perceive time differently. Mm -hmm. There's no question that they perceive time differently. <laughs> oh, yes. Does time even That's exist? That's the only here? part about that I know for sure. It's, it's 100%. <laughs> <laughs> they may not perceive time at all. Can you imagine if you were really completely present? No. Nope. I mean, there would be no perception of time. If you lived without sunlight, yeah. how would you perceive time? I don't know. Just sort of <coughs> do stuff. Yeah. Time is a construct. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist on the ship except <laughs> it certainly for hasn't ice cream since on COVID Sunday. Started. Yeah. <laughs> There's like yesterday now and tomorrow and <laughs> here we are. Somewhere between. Time, I feel like time on the ship exists in the length of a day. That's how, I, I feel it very strongly though. I feel like days are very clear, but everything else beyond a day so Except I have Sundays. very difficult. Mm. Oh, did we oh. decide whether this was a solitary hydrate or not on ah. that last? Remember, we like walked away. Oh, I, thought, I would think this. Is Kylie and I happening. walked away from this on the watch after us. Can we? Um, yeah, can we get a zoom on that? Yeah, totally. What do y'all think this is? It might be an anemone. It looks. I like, think. Yeah. Could I be. yeah. I think I've seen it zoom? before. But I'm not sure of the name of Yeah, I've seen this oh, before. Yeah. It's a definitely a type of that, an enemy. That looks like an enemy. Oh, yeah. beautiful. But song. I think oh. we've collected it before and it like kind of does not collect well. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, go away. You guys have what you need? Yeah. Great. What time is it? Okay. One forty four. I was almost going to say we could do a 4K of that. Oh, yeah, sure. How do you think? Yeah. Does that work Absolutely. for you? Okay. Just trying to save my 4K bank because I'm not supposed to do more than five per watch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just yeah. because of how much data it Exactly. Takes? Do yeah. you want this recorded? Okay. Um, yeah, but once we get zoomed in there. Not, so okay. Not yet. Yeah, it's all you. Okay, cool. Um... All right, go ahead, Ryan. Go on. Okay. All set. That's it? Yep. Not my best work, sorry. That's okay. <coughs> okay. Full wide. Onward. <coughs> I just said onward, and for some reason in that <laughs> moment, expected the vehicle was just going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Still right. here looking at this thing and like, huh. Well, it is almost 2 a.m. <laughs> I gotta catch up here. Onward.
This is an interesting question. Is it ever creepy driving ROVs through the deep, dark ocean? Have you ever had any good jump scares? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I find it creepy when we're flying around a wreck, especially like a very intact wreck. Like um, we once stumbled upon a sailboat. I think it even had its sails up and it was upright on the bottom. Um, and that was very eerie um, to like not know the story there. Yeah. Um, I think that's, but for the most part, it feels very friendly. I don't know. What do you think, Kylie? Um, I'm sorry, it's early. <laughs> what was the question again? Because I had it, but then I lost it when you came to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it eerie or creepy or there's uh, yes, any yes. jump scares? My, uh, Sort of, weirdly, um, when we did the vehicle recovery last year, um, you, you, like, you know where the vehicles are, you go back to get them, um, but when they come out of the void into view, it's Oh, that was very, very eerie, surreal. you're right. It was this very bizarre moment. And um, so there's a submarine, uh, like a scientific submarine named Alvin, right? And um, one of our, our RV pilots, our RV lead on this trip is, um, a former Alvin pilot, and he says this thing frequently that ROVs flatten everything. And I they, had that the ROVs what everything flatten flatten. Oh, okay. Flatten everything, and um, I didn't really that didn't really mean anything to me until seeing. Can you come up a bit? Yeah, yeah. Until seeing um, Hercules from the perspective of, an, of another ROV and seeing what he meant. It does. It looks like a picture of the vehicle versus the 3d thing that we're always in and touching and mm. i know the scale of it in real life and to see it um with the vehicles through a vehicle's eyes was um like surreal and it really does make everything look flat so when we're seeing certain features um like uh when we're at the endeavor uh hydrothermal vent field and there are um you know nearly 30 meter tall uh, black smoker stacks uh, and they and they don't look massive you you can you know kind of like with that perspective um, that we gained with the vehicle recovery I, I see them differently mm -hmm. um, but but yeah coming up on uh, on the vehicles out of like just darkness like there's just darkness and it's the only light that you provide and then they were there and, it um, was so bizarre. Yeah. It is definitely the weirdest thing I have seen subsea. Yeah. And I've seen some weird creatures, but it was way weirder to see this like this robot that we're so familiar with that we work on for like hundreds of hours, you know, like mm -hmm. yeah. down there at what, like 2,500 meters or something like two, that? Two, 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 two. 2,222 two. meters. <laughs> <laughs> I think so there's there should be some highlights of that on the Oh there de there definitely is and they they put together like a 7 minute little film about it which is really neat. And we were on opposite ships. I know I never met you and now I look know. at us. I know now look at us. I was watching you Aww. on like the back deck Jason cam I was like I think that's Gabby. I never <laughs> met her but like that looks like a Gabby to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably standing staring at the winch. I had a lot of winch watch that cruise. It was really cool. Yeah, it was amazing. That was a really great response. You know, something that I saw that was like magical and not eerie was the um, octopus garden in, that in 2018 within um, the Monterey Bay uh, National Marine Sanctuary. Because um, it was like, First, the water got sparkly, and then <laughs> there was a forest of octopus. <laughs> like, How, what do you mean by sparkly? Like, shimmering. Oh, because of the, was it a little bit of heat? Um, heat or seeps or something about where they were, they really liked and facilitated um, yeah, that their seeps. brooding uh, to fe fester there. I don't know, manifest there. Not fester, <laughs> manifest, sorry. <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> <Go away. laughs> um, but that was really, um, it was sort of like a fur and gully moment. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> look at this life. <laughs> it was really cool. That was my first uh, cruise. Oh, wow. oh yeah. cool.
That's a good one. Expedition. First expedition. Your first one was 2018? Yeah. Nice. Is that a bird? Maybe. Oh, no. No, oh, <laughs> Jesus. Is it a bird? <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it. <laughs> I think we're hearing some birds. They're back? It's possible. The boobies are back? Oh, oh <laughs> no. I mean, when we came up here, the whole, oh. like, <laughs> tepid oh. tub deck was, it was bad, like, yeah. oh, really was littered, littered oh. with fish evidence. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Argus. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I did. I thought that looked like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> there it is again. Here, I can. Oh, I got you can see camera. it down cam on Argus now. Where are you? It's actually going Never up mind. through the body of Argus. Yep, little friend. Mm -hmm. I moved fast. Come on, Rox, where are you? Hiding under the sediment. <laughs> Come find me. There's something port side. It's not a rock, but there's something port side okay. in Argus view. I think it might be another um, like scour. Mm -hmm. That guy. Yeah, it? I think it's the same feature with like, there's not like a pile and a that. divot. Not that. Oh. To the right. Oh. You see it? I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh. Oh. Another one of those sea stars. Nice. I think that might be a rock there too. Ah, oh, oh, that's that definitely is. a rock. <laughs> um, not a lot of rock though. No, no just barely <laughs> poking through. Just, I just thought I would go. I saw it in the Niskin cam, and I was like, I need to give, I need to give these people hope. Um, <laughs> yes, this geologist needs it. Is it possible for us to um, tilt the camera a little bit off so we can see kind of a little bit further? in front of us. Yeah. Yeah, and then do kind of a, a a turn, a spin, so we can see if we see any other larger rocks. I don't think there are, based on the sonar. The best way to do it, yeah. Totally. Saw a fishy fish. It's a little harder to see downhill. Yeah, that's fine. Then don't worry about it. Do you know what your heading was when we were looking at that rock? Oh, yeah, it the was... Um, like three one. It was probably like a, a 270 mm -hmm. to 225 sort of thing. OK, that's what I, I thought. Behind us. It was behind oh us and to port. Okay. Okay, cool. Maybe we can um, we can sort of do our our zig or or zag, whichever one we're currently on, <laughs> <laughs> off toward <laughs> off towards that heading. Okay. L just looking at um, high pack, that would kind of get us more on the center of the the ridge if we go off. Okay. Kind I'll of do west. A little bit of. Uh, did you actually want to change where the ship? was going a it looks like you I don't know I'll leave it to nav it looks like you'd be fine if you kind of went west so take a look at the sonar right now I'm actually seeing a couple bright spots oh um, yeah especially I on see Argus it too sonar, sonar blah blah 
Argus sonar. Ah, um, okay. okay. I see so, that now. So, like, I do see that stuff, um, and it is sort of off to port a bit. Um, so, yeah, if we want to go... I'd step in that direction. Yes, and if we could get our view a little bit to the left, a little bit more... Okay. I thought I saw a rock over there. Okay, I will... I'm just going to catch up real quick. Go that for it. A little yep. bit of a deviation there. Sure. Whatever you, you all need to do to get set up to yeah. head that way a little bit. Bridge now. Can we step? I'm ready oh, for some we'll hard substrate. Zero meters. Meters. I know you all want rocks and I want zero. biology. <laughs> we all want the same thing. <laughs> Different reasons. We'll all thing. be located in the same place. <laughs> yeah, I definitely Just like see we are some now. rocks happening off the port <laughs> there. Roger, what's zero meters? What? Bearing 280. Yes. I wonder what this critter is that like makes a hole and then pile right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little like... A small shovel? Yes. A small shovel, like a dog digging in the yard or something. Should we... A sea dog? Would you like me to take up 280 for heading? Uh, sure. Yeah. I think we'll probably have a bunch of north still. This will this will get rid of some of our layback as well, which will be nice. Not all of it, but some. Well, the vehicles will s probably still go. Uh, they'll go like north for a little while, and then north and uh, west. west for a little while. Oh, I started with a ten meter step, and. I know I continue have stepping from there. So it'll be pretty incremental. If I face um, <laughs> northwest, you can go jog off in that position under my supervision. That sounds great. The I like that. Not mine, Argus's supervision, really. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Bridge, Nav. Uh, let's do another 10 meter step, one zero meter step, bearing 280. Thank you. Rock. Ooh awesome. Yeah. Rock, 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 oh, rock, rock. rock. Here we are. Rock. We're probably going to want to start start some looking if we can. Yeah, so if we, if we need to put ship. in a stop or a slow, yeah. yeah. Bridge, Nav. Nav, like, beautifully anticipated this, and we're already, like, kind of getting ready. Excellent. Wow. Ah. This, looks, this looks like a great place for us. Looks like There's definitely some potato. layback, and it will be, like, we're, we're not going to stay here forever, <laughs> but hopefully there'll be, it looks like there are other rocks, so. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, and there's uh, pilots were that rust, really. this stuff. Is that, like, uh, Yeah, what is, if we can get, we definitely want kind of a zoom and a picture up here. Okay, great. Yep. Definitely. Go for zoom. Hmm. Hmm. 
Wow. Would it be possible to get that rock that's in the middle of the sediment in front of there? How big is it? Yeah. That would be the question. Let's check on the lasers. That is oh. a good size, oh, I think. Yeah, that looks let's, if we can right. get that, that would be great, because this okay. underside might have some of that uh, discoloration. It's going to be a fast one. We don't have a lot of time, but uh, are we? F can you go full wide on, uh, on, yeah, there we go. Just pick it up out of the lava tube and run. Where should yep. we put it? And we don't um, have to get it stashed before we take off with her. Yeah, just run I with don't it. Know how Will it fit in one of these? Um, or can we, sorry, that was kind of angled. No worries. Me. Um, cool. I think we could probably put it in this one. Okay. There's another, we'll try, check what three is. Have it's a look at it and see. It's just, I think we were on when it was collection. It. Or Let's we see. were on, you might be perfect. Uh, Towards the end of its collection, I think. Okay. Um, Welcome to Nautilus Live, Birmingham, Alabama. Woohoo! Nice. Thank you. Gorgeous. Awesome. Uh -huh. Nice quick grab. Gabby, do you think that would fit in one of the smaller uh, boxes on do. the starboard side? I do, actually. Okay, great. Okay. So, if you don't mind, I'd like to pick up and keep going. Yep. Yeah. Uh, just halt it and don't uh, even don't touch your blue um, button. Okay. You can you can submit the sample so that we get the location. Pilots, right. you are yeah. amazing. <laughs> and thank you. You have saved my sanity. <laughs> What's our depth? Mm. Uh, Ooh, that was there's a it. sponge. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot oh. of teamwork yeah. that made that happen. That was like super good anticipating by NAV and by Excellent. science where the uh, rocks were going to be and getting us there. Perfect. Teamwork. Yeah, we're doing that's it. awesome. Crushing it. I think everybody should give mm -hmm. themselves a little pat on the back. That's good. Mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah, it is. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just carrying this rock that I want to show you. Can't wait to bring this I to know, you. I know, it is really cute. I'm bringing it got, up to you. Look, 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 look. It's got pretty colors. Yeah, continue? Um, no, let's hold, let's let's hold, hold for a second. Just make sure we get uh, this stowed nicely and get some, get a view of it. Get so. some, some snaps. And we can suck up that whole layback because it's still, yep, it still exists. Still pretty long. Like the ROV is running off to go show someone this rock. We're down to <laughs> 34 meter oh layback. Uh, Bridge is putting in a heading change here. Pretty slight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all fine. Um, yeah, you can just leave it as it is. Yeah, it's interesting we're not seeing very many corals or sponges on these rocks. Mm -hmm. wonder if the yeah. is just okay. like not good for them. Here. Yeah, maybe it's here. protected. Yeah, I had seen one sponge in the area where we collected the rock, but okay, nothing science, else. Okay, science, I think we're ready to take a few uh, captures of this rock and then stash it. All right, yes, sounds good. Yes, nice. Let's do it. Oh, Here, interesting can... little guy. So, yeah, 15 to 20, that's like an amazing size. That's perfect. Can go for zoom. Yeah. He was just waiting for us. He almost looks like a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's a good spot because it's like nicely in the light there. 
Yes. What's that? Um, in the top one there. Perfect. This can go in the starboard bow box. In mm -hmm. A? Sure. Yeah. One of the smaller ones that's kind of on the inside of the starboard box. A is the most forward one of the smaller ones. Are they all empty? Yeah, they're all empty. Are you ready for sample salvo? Nope. Just say one. You got a nice view in Argus, too. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I don't know. Doing some stretching. <laughs> Ooh, I like that sweet little like wrist flick there. That was really nice. Snazzy. That was good style. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice. A nice I do not know crop. what that was. I'm here, I'll switch your camera for you. All right. If you prefer B, C, or D, that's fine also. A, B, C, or D. Yeah, <laughs> one of the little ones. Perfectly in A. Swish. <laughs> Way to go. Excellent. So do we have the... Is the ship holding station right now? Or Yeah, okay. Yeah, great. Roger, we are holding position. Okay. Yeah, so we can we can do a little bit of exploring around these rocky outcrops. Um, see if we have any corals or sponges. Yep, just a little bit. Wow, look at that line. Mm. This this it flow goes all up. the way up. Yeah. For your backbone. Nice job. That was really smooth. Well, that's BL, sorry about that. I didn't realize. Um, <laughs> okay, what? Sorry. <laughs> that was like very automatic. <laughs> like Argus, you were like. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Good job, pilots. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what, uh, oh, um, it's time to do a swap up front. Oh, Raj. do you want? Do you still want to? Um, do you want to do it the last hour? Or we yeah, do sure. It now? Whatever you want. Um, it's up to you. Let's do it later. Okay. okay. Sounds great. Okay, we're gonna hold off for the till the last hour. Sounds okay. What's good. the plan from here? We are gonna keep doing our zig and zagging as we make our way to the next waypoint, and I think if I'm oriented correctly, we want to move kind of uh, sort of west northwest so what is that 280 ish to get over towards those rocky outcrops that we're seeing in the sonar and on the left of the screen okay 
and we're just going to keep heading towards our waypoint, but um, very slowly and exploring some of these rocky outcrops and seeing if we're seeing any corals or sponges. Does that work for you guys? That sounds yeah. great. Great. I'll uh, get the ship moving here. I'm going to check. Um, Science, you want to generally move towards the next waypoint, but with a... With a slow speed. I mean, if you want to... Uh, yeah, I guess we could do that at like point two or even... We could head at like a Ooh. 310. There's a coral yeah, down then at the bottom. Zag back over also. That sounds good. Okay, yeah, that's let's do we're... that. Bridge now. Could we step... Five zero meters, bearing three one zero at zero point two knots. Roger, yeah. So we definitely have some biology on these. I think we might have a sponge or something on here. And we might have had a coral up before. They're just really small. Actually, now that I think about it, this might actually be sediment. We can see yeah. that really clear line, like here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. The Argus view is great. Yeah. Any idea what would cause this kind of formation or just it flow kind yeah. of? Yeah, sheep, sheep flows, I would. I would I'll go with that too. There's yeah. too much sediment cover to really go into beyond detail. that into the morphology of the flows. But it, it does have a kind of consistent sort of edge and boundary. So it could be a more recent uh, flow on top of older flows, but it's hard to tell. The last eruptions in this area were, what, like 70 million years ago? Mm. Thereabouts is what we're thinking. Okay. Although those aren't last eruptions, those are last uh, seamount forming eruptions. Gotcha. There are smaller cones up at the top that might have been much later. Gotcha. Are we able to look over? Oh, I'm drawing. Is that a urchin, holothorian? Solitary Anemone? hydroid, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> we could, if we have time awesome. to zoom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely. That's what we're here for. Finally what got rocks, hydroid? finally got geology and bio. I know nothing more than that. It's. Uh, that I think it's a Nadarian, like an anemone. It looks, like looks an anemone-ish from okay, back here. Zoom. I would say anemone. Yeah, that an looks an like an anemone. anemone. But it's on a stalk, right? Um. Yeah, but I think I could still. It's still very anemone-like. Whoa. 
Ooh, he's not happy with us. I, I think uh, we're just blowing him around in the breeze. Yeah. Maybe he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be even on the stock, I think. Could still be it. Okay. Could have taken over <laughs> someone oh, yeah. else's little stock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go wide. Data, do you have what you need? Yes. Excellent. Argus is just starting to move. 310. 310, watch. And I'm making a mess. Uh huh. Keep it Look at that slope. Oh, coral? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've also starting to get maybe some sponges. <laughs> <laughs> Go for Zoom video. <laughs> what is that? Hmm. Gorgeous. Oh. I'm not sure what type of coral that is. Oh, wow. Is Ooh. there a little... What's that little thing growing? It oh, oh yeah. so that's so weird. It's like another. It's it looks like a serpulid almost. Yeah. Are we able to get a little closer to the bottom of that and get a really nice zoom? Um. <laughs> that's probably a no. I understand. I see all that flying sediment. <laughs> Do you think that we can get a four K? Outlow. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, what's going on in the front row? <laughs> the boy. Oh goodness. Okay. Um, I will go in for another zoom. <laughs> Thank you. You're amazing. Bridge now. Okay, go for zoom. Hmm. Could we step two zero meters bearing three one zero? Thank you. I didn't even think about the falling snow aspect. <laughs> it's more dramatic. Are we all the way in? Yep. Okay. That's what you get. The base looks like it's just covered in crud. Oh, you can see it in 4K. Can I do a 4K zoom just to take a look at it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, can you give me 4K in the... Yeah. Okay, give me one second. Thank we you. don't need to record this, Ryan, if it doesn't look like we're in a good spot. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to go... Uh, oh, okay. The slope Oops. is sort of is, uh, is clearing a little bit. Take another look at the... Uh, um, this is the Herc Zeus. Yep. Okay. Um, now I will readjust for 4K. Uh, the problem with 4K is we're not going to get a great shot of the base just because we're looking straight down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, w I was thinking more so where the base of that weird oak I was connecting up to the main um, body. Can you be My more apologies. specific? Um, there was, so there was like a light brown, what looked almost like a worm. Um, here, oh, it's a... Okay. Yeah. It, if we... Can we... Uh, can we possibly push back in a little bit? Yeah, just the, I'll line up a little bit better. Yeah, here. no worries. Go for zoom. Yeah, right. Right there. There, yeah. That little critter. Yep. Because he seems to kind of wrap around right here and then show up here. And then he's got a little polyp or something on the end. It looks like a, the end of a, a worm in a tube, but that doesn't really make sense for, or at least 
to my knowledge, that would be kind of strange on a coral like this. Nice. Did you get some good screen grabs of that? Yeah. Awesome. All right. And we're are we fully zoomed in? Yep. Okay. Okay, cool. I think we're good on that. Thank you. Okay, great. And when we pan out, could we possibly, I'll point it out when we get there, there's almost what white. looks to be a white rock. Oh, oh. Yeah, right over here. Oh, I yeah. have no clue what that is. Good eye. What is that? Yeah, this, can we... <laughs> Let's get a zoom. <laughs> I almost want to say poke it, but not yeah. if it's something alive. I can see it in the bubble. Oops, oops. Huh. What in the world? Who's we don't that? have a ton more time, but we can do a quick poke. Can we potentially do a poke? Yep. Poke <laughs> is fine. We can hold position as well. Sure, let's do it. The bridge down. Is that maybe yeah, get it. old sponge, dead sponge pieces? Maybe. Not Thank you. Sure. Are we full wide? Where is it now? It's um. Is it's it behind Mongo? So oh, yeah, it's right the, there. Um, the oh, lasers. I see it. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the telestrator. That was great. We have a student that would like to know what made you want this job and what's your favorite part about being a part Can of this expedition? Just keep an eye on. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I don't know what you were going to say, but I was going to, uh, I don't know, anticipate that you were going to say things turn are, you, you don't need to turn necessarily, just have a sense of where the tether is and I, things like that. I do have a, a half a 6 8 wrap, so I was thinking of turning in that okay. direction and then you'd be in view and I'd see the tether. Could be a win, 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 win. <laughs> Can you give me a delta? Oh, no, sorry. Um, craft. Words. Can yes. you give me words? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, is that what you want? I don't think we yeah, can give you words. That was exactly what I wanted. Um, and zoom video? Oh, wow. That's quite small. Oh, it's small. so tiny. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's like a little shell little or camera. something. It or is it a little it vertebrae? Way, you can go. Okay, it go does. It. It, looks like it, looks like it. it looks like it. It looks like a vertebrae. Like a vertebrae. Yes. Awesome. Oh, well. Okay, and you can zoom a little closer if you want. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Ooh. Yes. Screen grabs yes. I what got do you guys think? <laughs> uh, we need some decisions pretty fast. Can you, yeah. Can, can you Go poke wide? it so it rolls over wide. a little bit? Yeah. Can we get another view of it? So a little uh, poke to turn it over a bit. They want you to roll it over. Oh. Say again? They want you to poke it to roll it to the other side. Oh, to roll it. Okay. Yeah, we just want to see... See uh, the other side of it. And if we could zoom while, while doing it, that'd be great. Okay, go for zoom. Sorry, I had turned off SPL for a second and... No uh, worries. You're fine. You're fine. All good. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely say that this is a bone. Got to do this without... Uh, it looks like it. it. I have to do this without stirring up any sediment. So. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. I think we got great images. So I think we're all set here. Wow. Nice. Yeah, that's that's fine with me. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Go wide. That. More weird thing. Oh. Well, that mystery has been solved. The mm -hmm. mystery of white rock is not a rock. Great uh, eye. Yeah. Vertebra. That's such a tiny little one. Yeah, it looked much bigger before. It, it really did. We must we must have been zoomed when we were I really first saw close. it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's amazing science. how. And I think we've got a sponge or something. Would we like to there. continue on our three one zero heading, or wow. shall we zag back towards the waypoint? Um. Yeah. Can Can you zoom out a little bit on high pack so I can see? Sure thing. Three one zero. Yeah, we can start heading towards the waypoint. That'd be great. Roger. At point one, is that where we've been going? Uh, we were doing 0 0.2. Uh, okay. But 0 0.1 is yeah. whatever you want. We can do 0.15. And don't call okay. a move just yet. Okay. 
Whatever, uh, yeah. we'll get uh, Herc caught up and out in front, and then it'll be a good time. Sounds good. And what heading would that be? I think I can adopt that. Uh, we will be on a 037 heading. 037, Raj. Oopsie, that was uh, not the right button. That patchwork of lines almost looks like a whole bunch of highways. <laughs> <laughs> like a spaghetti bowl. Would anybody like to share um, what made you oh. want to do this job and what's your favorite part of this expedition? Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, who wants to go first? Oh, wow, look at these rocks. Oh, fish. We always seem to find that something too. interesting right when you ask a good question. We're so, so keep friendly. asking good questions because we keep finding good oh, stuff. <laughs> these are nice rocks. I'm guessing we do not have time to collect rocks, do we? We absolutely do. We're not oh. currently. This guy. This. That. Do you want that? <laughs> yes, I like that guy. All right. Yeah, if we can. Yep, ship isn't moving. Perfect. Uh, we're yeah, let's see Argus how big he is. That looks like a uh, perfect size. I think this size. will be our ninth rock. I would say. Just to right. give you all a heads up, because I think this is a rock, too. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven, and we've got a fish eight, friend. Nine. Okay, perfect. So just keep in mind. Okay, yep. So this is our ninth rock. All right. So, so you'll get I one have, more. Okay. Do you want this one? I would like this one. Okay, great. Okay. Where do you want it to go? Asking you shall receive. Ooh. Will that fit in the small starboard boxes? Very likely. Perfect. Awesome. That's the nice thing about these 20 centimeter rocks is they do that. I mean, is that going to be, how deep are these? Would that fit in the same one in A with the other one? We already have three rocks in yeah. A, but B oh, has okay. only one rock. So is that that we only get 10 rocks per dive? Yes, Yes. because yes. we're in the monument. Okay. Yep. Are we at the, you're not worried about getting anything at the oh. top of the ridge or anything like that? Have we gotten something for Coralie? No, I don't Co mind. Coralie doesn't need anything past 2,800 and we're already past that, so. Okay. Yeah, but, but the thing is we do have, we're gonna have another, uh, what, like for six hours after our watch, so another Seven hours. Do you want to save rocks for later? Or? The instructions I was given was I see rocks, I Get pick it. up rocks, Perfect. and I fill out to the 10 quota. Excellent. So, okay. But this, this guy actually looks both rounded and angular, and I quite like him. So if we can, <laughs> I would really like him. Let's I'm do already it. attached. We definitely can. <laughs> that is. Your emotional support rock. Yeah. Yes, it's my emotional support <laughs> rock. It will go with me while we go over the sediment piles. <laughs> oh my goodness. The things we say at 2.30 a.m. <laughs> Four K is very interesting for sampling. Four K is gorgeous. Yeah. As long as we're not moving, it's amazing. I actually don't really like it. The four oh. K? I've definitely heard that from people before. It because of the color or what? It's well, so clear. I feel like it's just less warm temperature no, wise. Yeah, I I always have a problem like with four K TVs and everything that's ultra clear. Mm. I I think it's that my eyes can't actually really see that well and so something like that it just looks unnatural to me it just looks very grainy wow that's it, interesting it yeah for me it just doesn't it makes me cringe a little bit yeah <laughs> so this isn't what we thought it was oh is it attached it's moving. oh oh, oh, it's oh. Maybe it is oh not anymore <laughs> now it's ours oh my gosh is it big oh. it looks big oh Ooh, it looks heavy wow. oh if it's too big, we're going to put it back down. <laughs> but we would like to spin it if we can. Wow. Oh my, and it's got that same discoloration What about again. that one? Yeah, that was the next one I was thinking. Okay. Oh, oh he's not too bad, is he? Uh, nope. Mm. Just oh, a little okay. stuck. Yes, he's got, what is that on the bottom? 
Maybe just sediment. I'm just going sediment. to hope that's just sediment. Yeah, I think that's just sediment. Just a little bit stuck is all. Oh, look at that. Yay. Beautiful. Look at that beauty. Nice. There it is. That's a nice rock. I like him. Are we full wide on Herxus? Oh, perfect. That's what I like. I'm going to give you a porch light. Yeah. That would be awesome. You've got it. Ooh. You can go for zoom. My advisor is going to be unhappy with me for all these altered rocks, but I, I, I quite like it. Yeah, that does look quite altered. It does. It does. But it's going to work for you? I think it'll work fine for me. Great. OK, go wide. Okay. Again, starboard box. Bio yep, if you MB. you have B, okay. C, or D, whichever is easiest for okay. you. Okay, sounds good. I'll move your pen and tilt over if you'd like. Um, I'm fine with just bubble, Raj. And then the dive salvo. Raj, call it out whenever you like. Do it. Sample salvo. You are ready for box out? Yep, sample tray coming out. Oh, and I'll change your camera. Oh, awesome. Thank you. We don't want no stinking niskins. Camera. Doop, doop. There you go. I can come out a little more, I think. No, I cannot. I love it. Pull out. Trying to get it an angle so it'll just drop right in. Mm -hmm. Might be a little big. <laughs> yeah, if um, trying to Tetris fit them doesn't work, can we? How okay are you with rocks mixing? I think this is pretty distinct, so. We could do one of the ERF then. There's only one rock in each. Yeah, what do those ones look like? Um. Small black rock. True. Is E and that this description confused me. I would say go for E. Okay. Oh black Roger coral. that. Yeah. And I think maybe also a rock yep. with it. So yeah, let's go with E. Yeah, yeah. Let's go for E. Woo! Swish. Rocks make me happy. Coming in. Oh, wait, actually. Excellent. Okay, coming in now. We have a fourth grader here. Um, welcome, Vincent. He, we have Ooh. data engineers Sorry. and video engineers. No, it's, okay. it's just always very startling. Yeah. <laughs> what was what was the question? Um, we have a fourth grader, Vincent. He asked how many engineers and what type ah. of engineers are mm. currently on the ship. A lot of engineers. Lots of engineers. All the types. Yeah. <laughs> so we have engineers in on the crew that um, make the ship run and do engine work and um, things of that nature. And then we have ROV engineers of different disciplines. We have electrical engineers, mechanical engineers. Um, I'm a nondescript engineer. Video <laughs> engineers. Oh, right. See? Right here on a watch. <laughs> <laughs> All different kinds. Okay, can I get 4K back in my picture in picture? You sure can. <laughs> Pip. Oh, my God. Do what I want. So, oh, right now, a, I've yeah. got a stick lock on, an yeah. auto heading. You see, like, the horizontals yeah. are the auto head. 
Yeah. And then stick lock is on Verts. Raj. I'm gonna okay, what's next? Just, I'm just going to change your port. All right. Port um, thank on. you. So is the ship uh, holding position right now? Yes. Cool. So we can um, wake, make our way towards waypoint eight. Roger. Pilots, are you ready for that? Waypoint eight. Roger. Okay. What's the bearing to that? Uh, zero three seven. Perfect. We can we can do that at like uh, not more than point two. Roger. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Ooh. I think there's some sponges Bridge, huh? here. There's definitely I th see a yellow coral up there or something maybe. I uh, think it's getting blocked. <laughs> Yeah, maybe hey, we Lexi, can. Could we step five mm -hmm. zero meters? It might be a sponge. Zero three seven. A dead sponge. At Hard to tell. Zero oh. point one five knots. Gabby, do we have pennies in Roger. our zoom bank? Uh, can uh, say again. Do we have pennies in our uh, zoom bank? Yeah, uh, we do. Okay, cool. Where do you want to look? Um, mm -hmm. just behind us, we there was a sponge on that rock. Okay. I don't know if that's too difficult from where you are, but nope. okay. Um, it might be a little murky because I when I pick up like gotcha, I yeah. send yeah. a bunch swirling, but yep. we can definitely try. Okay. Welcome, Terry from Vancouver. Welcome. Yeah. Yay, Vancouver. Look at all these beautiful rocks. <laughs> okay, where are we looking here? Ooh, Ooh there's, there's also something coral. on the, l yeah, a coral toward the left. I okay, you're going to have to, I can't see where? anything for some reason, so yeah. give me some Telestrator. Where to, did you see? Uh, it was like here. off to the left. It's no longer okay, in view. Like down there? Uh, no, like directly no, left? No, it was directly like, like, this like, way, where the gripper arm is. If you turn, turn a little bit more. Here, here it is. It is. Here. Yeah. There we go. This guy here. Yes. Okay, go for zoom. Is that maybe some type There's of bamboo? Under it too. Ooh, that's great. That's pretty. And then, is that a cookie star? Looks like it. Cookies? Well, I, I, I think see it. this might be some type of whip bamboo. It might be in the 4K, you see it? Oh, I see. Yep, center. Okay, do you have the captures you need here? Just one more, and I think we're good. Thank you. All right. Oh, it's nice. behind it, maybe on the rock beyond it. When that's we zoom it. out, okay. can we go can look? We you want to see the little cookie stuff? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always. It's really cute. Such a cutie. Okay, go Hello. for zoom. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, oh, he's starting to oh, move. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> don't, blow, don't blow the cookie off. A port, a port. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, go wide. Okay, what else? Um, I thought I What's that guy on the left? saw a sponge earlier, Under but I'm not seeing it now. So, straight down. oh, straight oh. down. Oh, yeah, zoom on the 4K. I think it's going to be like okay. a sponge or a coral skeleton or something. Yeah. Are you talking about this down here? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That looks like a. Yeah, that no, looks, it's like, like a, a sponge. Ske skeleton sponge? Or a skeleton, skeleton <laughs> of a sponge. <laughs> skeleton sponge. <laughs> Missing my words. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That, that looks dead. Okay. Cool. So Argus is starting to move, so yeah, let's, let's get yeah, going. time to get going. Sounds All right. Good. Let's do it. Welcome, Brian, from Michigan. You can check out nautiluslive.org and see the different career Ooh. opportunities. There's another nice whip. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a nice little field of rocks. I'm so happy. There was a little brittle star or something that was down there. Is it okay if I use bubble camper gauge? Checks? Yeah, go for it. Thank you. Oops.
Go for zoom. Ooh, look at that little guy. Wow. <laughs> oh, look yeah. Look at those eyes. That... <laughs> That look at him go. Cool. He's like, you don't want to look at that holothurian that's you underneath want. the rock. You want to look at me. Those legs. Oh, yes. my gosh. Some crazy legs. They remind me of, like, a daddy long legs. <laughs> How many legs are there? Ooh, and is that a tunicate that's up here? Or oh, is yeah, that looks a... like it. Ooh, yeah. There's something in that, uh, the, the crease of that rock as well. Oh, uh, up to the right. That is. This thing's cool. He kind so of cool. looks like a human head with a brain inside. Yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> and then this of. little like part busts. in here is like, uh, oh, the my stem? anatomy, the medulla, the, oh. the oldest part of the brain. <laughs> that is super cool. What a neat little critter. Yeah. And then further down, underneath one of these rocks, is I think a big holothurian. And then there's, I don't know what that is. Really beautiful work video. Looks like bones almost. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Wow. Hello. He's really far down. Can see it, cool. Oh, well now it's up in Herc. I was gonna say in the 4K. Go for zoom. Hello. Oh, he's moving just a bit. Hi. I'm like, why are you staring at me? <laughs> <laughs> Give me my privacy. Excuse me. Okay, go wide. Do we have any coins left in our coin bank? Uh, yep. We Probably. might have bones again. Okay, <laughs> go for Zoom. Several. Oh my gosh, those things are kind of everywhere. What? Yeah. It looks, it does look really similar to what we were saying before. Mm -hmm. There are several of them. Scattered, they are. These are scattered vertebrae, I think. Yeah. All right. Is this something we want to sample? Um, I uh, don't think so. Yeah. No. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm not sure that we should either. Wow, look at this boulder in Argus. Oh, yes. It's a big one. In Argus, they look kind of, um, hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Not stable, even though they really definitely are. Yeah. But just from that angle. Totally. Wow, yep, look at that. And, oh, so I don't know, is this a nice little brecciated looks like, pile here? Looks like a lot of rubble. Yeah. Basalt talus. See that iron oxidation mm -hmm. on the underside? And then we've got some little guys over here as well. Go for zoom video. And then we've also got a sea star. Hmm. Brittle Looks star? Like a brittle star. Brittle, yep. Yeah. Early morning. Is there a sponge under there also? Yeah, ah. I think so. It's a lot under there. Okay, go wide. Got a lot out of that little bit of terrain. Yeah. Oh, 
so pretty. Wow. Yeah, it's a beautiful ledge. Bridge now. Could we step five zero meters bearing zero three seven at zero point one five knots? Now, if only this guy were 20 centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a big um, one. Ooh, and stop crying on it. I need to stop with the telestrator again. <laughs> <laughs> I like touch screens. I can't help it. Go for zoom. Nice. Is he stalked or not? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I think it's unstalked. Data, do you have the picture you need there? Yes. Okay, go wide. Oh, that looks beautiful. Argus view right now is just... Altitude are you keeping? Uh. Whoa. I think we have a little critter over here off to the right. Can the audience see the telestrator? I don't have it up right now. Would you like me to put it up? Yeah, possible. They're requesting. Uh, sure. A tube anemone. I'll do it in one second. It's got an quite an anemone. No problem. Quite the little trunk. Yeah. Wow. Is that what you call mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> oh, and, and look at right on oh. the sediment. Oh, hey. Oh. Wow. Hello, friend. Sparkle. I believe so. Can we zoom in it anymore? Yes, but we're just gonna get out of. What's that little thing like yeah, to the left? We, that right on the sediment. Yeah, that little, that little creature. Huh. Oh. Hmm. It looks like a. A chitin. Yeah, it looks like a chitin. Yeah. Some, some kind of little. He's so transparent, though, for the That's most the only part. thing confusing. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. yep. Thank you. All right. Science, we're going to do a switch up front. Oh, oh, Kylie, okay. to sure. Herc, and me to Arm and Argus. Sounds good. Um, that's not it. Can I have, I'm gonna... Just do a dive salvo. Yeah, Raj. Ooh, oh, we've got two fish over here. Ooh. Yep. I'm gonna get out that's front. That's a big one. Get some pennies in the zoom she bank. is. No worries. Can keep moving. A There's a brittle star. Skeleton? Bone? It's a little sponge skeleton, maybe? Something like that? Maybe, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Amber, is this you? Hello, hello. I can hear you. Oh, who is this? Okay, it's Kylie. Oh, what the heck? Okay, <laughs> Kylie. Okay. Hello, is this Amber? Brandy, can you hear me? Am I talking oh. to you right now? Oh. Okay. I can't, for some reason, I'm trying to talk to uh, Amber and I can't get her. Is she, she's science right? Science left, I think. Left? I, I'm science right. Amber is science le left. Amber, Amber, hello? Yes. Okay. I can hear you, but just barely. Okay, can you just like turn me up on my little video? Just like. I have again. you. This is awesome over here. As far to the right as I can. Yeah, actually, I can't hear you super well either. Hello, Ryan. this is better. Oh, that's like way right better. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, can you just? I just want to make sure I'm looking at the right thing. Can you just draw something on the tablet, just so I can see if I'm looking at the right screen? Just oh, right just thing. like put anything somewhere. Yep. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, Brandy, they still want Telly on satellite feed three. Uh, yeah, I think. They were just asking if they could see the teleprompter. Okay, I'll stop that with 4K then. Thank you. <laughs> okay, should be up now. Yeah, okay. it's gonna look it the works. same as. So if you if you want, want what you could do is you could one. just you could just replace the or I don't know if that do you guys ever replace the Herc HD with the Telestrator? It's the same feed, it's yeah. It's the same feed, so I could move that to one and then put 4K back on three. What do we think? Oh, uh, yeah. I just meant, like, and not have, and just have one instead of two, two Herc streams. But, gotcha. But that's fine. I don't know if you have a protocol to have. Uh, not that I know of. Yeah, yeah, you can switch it. Tammy switched it before. Okay. She's put Tally on one? Yeah, so just put Tally on one, Argus two, and then whatever you get on three, Van or high that's pack good. or whatever. I'll put uh, 4K. <laughs> nice, that's working. Perfect. This is 4K? Sorry. Uh, set P3. Okay, good. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure I was being honest with myself. <laughs> okay. Megan, is this you? I can hear you. Why can I not get to who I want? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Call waiting. <laughs> We're still zigzagging, right? Is it zigzagging? Just doing. I'm doing. <laughs> Raj. Uh, doing rock stuff, yeah. What's that in the Argus view? It's a rock we just look, looked at. Oh. Ah. Yeah, some solitary rocks all by themselves. I'm so lonely. I see you. Video Solar zoom. Rock. Our audience really appreciates the 4K stream. Oops. Nice. Hmm. Ooh, oh, a little yeah. jelly. Yeah. A little tiny one. Come on. He went up the the to top. The top. Left. Yep. He's gone. Yeah. See ya. He was too fast. Just gen off. Yeah. I think it was fast. Right, yeah.
Okay. Yeah. Would you take yourself, if you were in auto depth, would you take yourself out? It depends on... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Raj. I saw um, uh, him. I saw him. Is, is he in there? Uh, video zoom. Ooh, fishy, oh, fishy, fishy. Yeah. Fish. Look at that. Sorry, not not, not that. That's not what I want. Hello. Mm -hmm. I want that guy. Oh. <laughs> that was Boo. something else up there on the sea floor. Is that an urchin? Oh. oh. Looks no. like. Oh, our patient house. And then yeah. Oh, is that another jelly? Oh. Ooh. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's like it's swimming. Oh, can we get a look? Where? The little jelly. Oh, down yeah. to this guy. Down. Yeah, oh. the one that I'm, the one, the one that I'm trying to get. Is that the one, the one, the one you mean? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm full wide. Oh. This one? <laughs> Hello. Oh. oh. Cool. Nice. So back to favorite specimen. We're not collecting <laughs> him, but I like this guy. What is this one? What is it? Good question. That is good. Turn lasers off. Um, I don't even know how to. Oh, is this some type of. No, it's not. <laughs> it's beautiful though. <laughs> Pretty. Me. I don't know how to characterize it in oh my God. Like. All right. We'll do a little investigating oh, for you. <laughs> I need to look at. Oh my, wow. look at it go. Oh Ooh. my gosh. This is amazing. Oh, this is the highlight of this one. <laughs> yes. Yay. We're doing I it. mean, yes. What Gabby, oh you were correct. Very charismatic. Wow. Okay. Did he change <laughs> colors? <laughs> okay, the video. Oh, no, you're doing great. Oh. Good job, guys. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. That was awesome. Oh, so pretty. Oh, yes. Very gorgeous. What to call it? He characterizes Just call jelly. it a jelly. Yeah. I, I saw him in the starboard rail cam. Yeah. Spiky jelly. Yeah. Spiky? Yeah. And tell us what Medusa's yeah. Spiky I said, I want to like you. Like Medusa's Maybe. Uh, have we been I'm liking like, this patient trying to look. I? I love it. Keep us going? I like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not, we're actually not moving right at this moment. Oh, so. that might be why I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But we have been going uh, 0 0.15 knots. Yeah. Just sort of slowly cruising. Yeah, that works for me if it works for science. All right, science, you happy with that? Yeah, that's working yep. for me. Um, we can keep doing that, and then when you get a moment, we can zoom out on high pack, and I just want to yep. reorient myself. Video zoom. Very little. And I'm out of all of my uh, autos. Raj. Bridge, no? Like, just a little bit. Nice. Yeah. Look at that. And then, like, just try to keep it in the frame. Uh, could we uh. step five zero Look, and there's meters. one of those bones. Yeah. Right here. Mm. Do you have any more oh. zooming? Oh. Oh. Nope. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> 0 0.15 knots. Okay, there was a minute ago. Last watch. Definitely <laughs> okay, a big come wide creature that... <sighs> Just <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, I remembered something that Trevor said. He said, try to move as slow as you can with the vehicle. And I was like, it, I never got a chance to actually do it once <laughs> he said it. What is this? Is that this? a sea urchin? It's a, yeah, it's a sea urchin. <laughs> and you've done that for me. You've said, me. <laughs> really? The what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh we my gosh. It. Good point. Yeah. 
Oh, that jellyfish was so pretty. <laughs> uh, science, are yes. you getting the high pack that you need here? Yeah, I, I, I did get that. Thank you. Um, how far is Waypoint 9, actually, from where we are? Waypoint oh, 9. Oh, it's way up at the top. It's way up there. Sorry. It is. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> More than a kilometer. Oh, 1,339 meters. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do a little car walk we here. If, if it's OK with the pilots, we could probably pick up to point 2. OK. If okay. you're good with that. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. All right, cool. Brandy, did you Oops. get um, like a, a couple of stars on that that jellyfish highlight there? I sure there? did, and it was four stars in my book. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like yeah. I like that that rating. It's like a holding out for a, yeah. an even yeah. better. First good yeah. my God, <laughs> ever in my life. I think they're gonna use that on like their highlights for the season. They yeah. will. I'm gonna show yes. that to my dad and be like, I did that. <laughs> I did that. Yes, you did. I didn't even say anything silly in the audio either, so it's like <laughs> even better. <laughs> it's okay, there's still time. I took myself off SPL because I was definitely gonna say something silly. <laughs> That's good thinking. <laughs> I think I did say silly things, because nobody has to know. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Fish and shrimp. <laughs> Ooh, fish. What? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, video zoom. Wow. Oops, oops, oops. Shrimp. Oh, shrimpy guy. Oh, I stirred it up. Okay, come wide for me, and I'm just going to okay. get out of the dirt. Gotcha. Okay, video zoom. Pretty as well. It's a nice color fish. Okay, come wide. Yeah, you want me to shake it off? And yeah, it's just you're just gonna keep seeing it for ages, and it's gonna like you're gonna do something perfect, and then it's gonna like billow up and ruin your shot. Raj, oops. Um, come up off the bottom Roger. as you do that. Roger, Roger, yeah. <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs>
Welcome back, Mr. Cottrell's class. Hello. Hello. Back from Camden County High School in Georgia. Oh, he lets us know that they are 11th and 12th graders. Oh, cool. Nice. And he, and he said that the career links were very helpful. <laughs> oh, good, good. Do they have any questions? Feel free to ask. Yeah. I'm just shaking the uh, like dirt off rocks the over porch. There. Car wash. There's a lot of stuff on the porch. Who did that? Mm. <laughs> 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 I'm sure you were not alone in accumulating that. For all we know, it was also Dan and Bob too. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it, was definitely, it was definitely them, not you. <laughs> they they didn't even get a push core. <laughs> they did. Okay. Yeah, what do you think, Gabby? Is that okay? Yeah, I think yeah, that's great. We're gonna continue. And you'll, s it'll give you feedback later. Okay. It'll let you know if it's not good enough. Raj. That's that whole thing that Mike would always get. So. Yeah, I know. I know. Up in arms about like somebody else's like pile of sediment on the porch like <laughs> comes in plumes in your face when you line up the perfect <laughs> shot. Video zoom. Hmm. A little shrimp. A little shrimp. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. Come wide. Thank you. Someone in the audience would like to know, what does it mean when we say pennies in the Zoom bank? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mostly we're asking if the RV pilots have the time and ability to Zoom for us. So a lot of little factors at play and if we're able to Zoom, it's great, great for us. Yeah, so like when we're trying to, when we want to Zoom, we get the vehicle. Oh out in front of the, uh, uh, we get Hercules out in front of Argus. And if we're moving the ship along and Hercules gets like too far behind Argus, uh, just various things can happen. It's just not an ideal setup. So we try and keep Herc out in front. And if Herc's way out in front, we have a lot of pennies in the zoom bank. We have a lot of time to work with. And uh, if Herc starts to slide back because we've been going slowly, zooming on a lot of stuff, we sort of run out of time run out of run out of savings and we have to build it up again mm. by running out in front not zooming on things for a while and i don't know on my last cruise that somebody just started started talking about pennies in the zoom bank and like saving up like whether we're you know have any savings in the zoom bank and <laughs> i've just been using it and it's super cheesy but <laughs> i like here it we are i think it's a useful <laughs> expression yeah Makes yeah, sense. I think it helps communicate sort of what the limitations are. Yeah. Is that that jelly? I mean, one of those the jellies, or is it a? It's not a jelly. Like urchin. I'm just. I'm yeah. gonna get close to yeah. the yeah. for the zoom. Yeah, there's a bunch of those. Like just very, okay. very out there. Video zoom. Soul spines. Nice. I, I really like these. Yeah. It's a really lovely color. It's a mm -hmm. beautiful color. I love the spikes. Urchins are very cool. 
Some of them are like very round with really long spikes. Have you seen those ones? Oh, it kind of like reminds me of like pencils strutting out of them. Yeah, <laughs> they look so different. This is kind of what yeah. I think of when I think of an urchin, Yeah, something like this. But those other ones really look like you are kind of not real. You're static right now. Thank that you. is amazing. Thank you. With some control inputs. I am. We That's are amazing. good on captures. But it's almost like I'm parked and I am not. <laughs> I know. Great awesome. job. Great piloting. Okay, uh, video come wide. Bridge, Nev. Could we step three zero meters bearing zero three four at zero point two knots? Thank you. Is it correct that we're traveling as far as 3,489 meters on this dive? That was our Sorry. starting point. Mm -hmm. We are about 2,250 meters right now. Bubbles. Yeah, I do see so that. So what we're going to try there. for is to go all the way up to 1,700 meters. Which is Right? Those... Yeah. I'm not crazy. Yeah, those are bubbles. Looks like with these new waypoints, we're actually going to get close to like 1625 if we come all the way up. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Great. And what is our... So that's our elevation, correct? Uh, that's our depth. depth. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'm still in land derms. My apologies. But what is, is, do we have a measure of how distance wise, how long of a stretch our transect is? Yeah, we do. Um. Yeah, someone's asking about depth and overall distance. Depth right, oh, depth right now is a. Uh, 2250. Ooh, is that a, I don't know what no. that is, a jelly or a, no, that looks a flying brittle star? I'm not what sure. A petite. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite fast. Do you mind if I take bubble? Yeah, go ahead, yeah. What's that? Over is that just a shadow? Do you Wait, mean It might be nothing. This? Yeah, it might be nothing. Might be a sponge. I, I think, think there's sponge. actually a sponge there, and yeah. there's a feather star there, so I would assume that there would be more Oops. biology over here. Like yeah, sponge. So Ooh, and a, 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 what is that? You guys. Or maybe it's the oh. person jits. Hold on, um, I'm going off SPL for a sec. Ooh, and a bamboo, or a whip, probably with another sponge next to it. Sorry, I'm back on SBL. I had to go off for a second. No problem.
catching up with Argus now. Raj. Yeah, okay, Raj. Yeah. Someone already posted on Twitter our beautiful jelly. <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> uh, so for the entirety of the dive, if we do go through waypoint 12, it's going to be roughly 6,412 meters. Oops. Mm. Ooh. It's a, and that's a, a decently rough estimate. That's just me measuring in high pack, so... You know, it's I didn't go through and, and get exact uh, dive track measurements at each leg, but that should be pretty close. And what speed would we need to go at if we if we completed that <laughs> for a noon recovery? Uh, if we would <laughs> like to finish on time. Um, is it possible, is the question? Let me take a look, so, at that last, those last legs that I was looking at. Um, before I do this calculation, let's talk about how we're gonna approach this next big ridge span here. Good morning, Miss Cole. So happy you are tuning in. I miss you guys. <laughs> Ailey Fires D, Alexander Elementary. Good morning. Oh, welcome to our watch. Amber, I think someone in the chat wants to ask you a question. They said, for the rock lady, <laughs> is the iron oxidation that is present on your specimen simply from being in salt water? Video zoom. So I'm not quite sure if what is on there is only iron oxidation. Uh, quite likely that that is a factor. Um, but honestly, I have no oh, idea if here. it's just from being Oops. in seawater. If it was, I would assume that all of my samples would look mm -hmm. that way, but it seems only to go in very specific okay, places. And oh, I'm yeah. not uh, fully cognizant of why. Yeah, and like, what is the reason why you would like it to be an angular uh, rock sample? So for angular rocks, that's kind of twofold. One is, so do you, see, if you look at all the rocks that we have in view right now, you see that they're all black. The rocks themselves aren't actually that color. That's a crust that's over the top of them, a ferro manganese crust. And that's sort of going to um, go over it and round out all of the features. So if a rock is more rounded, it has a higher potential of having a lot more buildup of that crust on top of it, which means the rock itself inside that I want is going to be a bit smaller than uh, I would like. And the other reason is if the rock is angular, it might be one, a more recently 
came off from its outcrop and might also have cooled a little bit slower. Mm. Zero, one, two. Raj. Oh, excellent. Good. I thought, yeah, I thought we were doing pretty good on time. Great. It's good to know. It's nice when we leave the next watch with a reasonable task. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. It's perfect. And these are volcanic rocks, is that correct? That's right. Yes. So you third graders learning about volcanoes. This is what happens, what, millions of years later. And then on top of the volcanic rocks, you'll have reefs that everything grew on them. So then you'll get sedimentary rocks on top of the volcanic rocks, mm -hmm. just to make it even more complex. <laughs> and yeah, some of that Somebody was asking about the kind of rusty iron oxidation. Mm -hmm. Video zoom. Yeah, it's really, it's really a common, essentially a weathering process of basalt rocks for them to oxidize. That looks very that pretty. Looks like a sponge, up on behind it. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, and look at all these really the little things. yellow stars. You see that on yeah. the rock? There's like three or four of them. Nice. Mm -hmm. Is that a sponge behind? Do you have any more zoom? I'm all the way in. Raj. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 All of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, come wide. Thank you. Nice. Hi, Jashel. We're we are on a ship actually, and it's sixty eight meters. Well, I think so. Yeah, something like that. We are on a ship. 224 feet. Mm. I think. I think that's the number. But yeah, that that weathering oxidation happens kind of on a, a on a gradient. So the manganese, that kind of darker purple sort of crust on the outside that we're seeing um, is what we're going to see um, on top of the iron oxidation. Mm -hmm. So some of those kind of fresher breaks or um, like underneath a ledge where we're seeing some of that iron where it's um, a bit more exposed or a bit less exposed like the the top kind of botryoidal textures that we were seeing earlier in the dive. These are just uh, natural weathering processes of basalt rocks. Nice.
Welcome to Nautilus Live, Billy. Uh, he has a question. He says, speaking of rocks, he found a shell with a crystal deposit in it that he found mm -hmm. on the beach. Do you have any idea what it could be and how it formed? No? I'm not sure. It could be several things. Um, there's a type of rocks called evaporites. So uh, anytime you have any sort of liquid that has a lot of uh, mineral content in it and that water evaporates, you can actually form minerals and rocks in on whatever surface um, it's on. And so that could happen with the shell. You could have calcite. Um, or you could have uh, gypsum. There's several different um, crystals it could possibly be. Mm. Video zoom. It's just sticking off the rock. You see it? The sponge? Yeah, looks like a sponge. Although, could it possibly be dead, or is it just covered in a bit of sediment? It's hard to tell, but it looks looks kind of dead to me. Raj, come wide. Welcome to Nautilus Live, Eddie. He's in the 11th grade. He would like to study marine biology. Um, he said, if anyone studied it specifically, what kind of things should he expect? Video zoom. Um, Did anyone here study marine biology? Not specifically. No. 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 That wasn't an Actually, option for away. me. Where I went. Good job. I did. Um, this is Ryan, video engineer. I studied marine biology in my undergrad. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Great. Um, expect to get a little dirty. <laughs> um, I spent a lot of time working with grad students, so I think you have to allocate some time in your schedule to volunteer at labs. Um, but other than that, you know, everyone's going to love hearing that that's your major. So expect to have a lot of cool new pals. Good luck. <laughs> I think Thank spending you, a lot of time in labs is a very good way to get into marine bio. Definitely. Even if you are not at a school with a specific marine bio program. I think in general in marine science, getting getting out there and, and volunteering in whatever capacity, getting yourself involved in the science is a huge part of, you know, getting the experience you need to then go out in the field in your career. And another really great thing to look into if you're going to be an undergrad is um, the NSF, National Science Foundation, Research Experiences for Undergrads, or REUs. So these are actually paid summer positions, so you should get paid at least or more than what you would get at a summer job and you get to be doing research in a lab. And it's a great way to spend your summer and get a chance to work with folks outside of the school that you're going to. And there's a ton of different REU programs across all sciences, including marine science. 
Eddie, they just dropped a bunch of jewels in on you. <laughs> awesome. Chibuki from Alexander would like to know, how does volcanic rock get to the bottom of the ocean? Do you want this one, Megan? Up to you. <laughs> I'm going to end up saying something stupid. What? Do no. It. You're, you're it's the scientist. Yours. It's yours. Okay. I, I'm a little too goofy right now. Okay. <laughs> it's oh, the wow. witching hour. Look at these, look at these Ooh, volcanic rocks. Truly Those are nice. Hour. These are big boulders. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Cubic. Look at that. Nice, beautiful formations. Nice. Oh, look at the Argus view. That's great. Oh, Ooh. I'm geeking out. I might as well answer the question now. <laughs> since I'm already talking. So... You, you get volcanic rocks on the bottom of the ocean because they're erupting on the seafloor. So they, they literally, it's not like um, they came off of land and just fell here. These are volcanoes that actually formed in the ocean. And so all these volcanic islands, so these are part of the line islands, the Hawaiian islands, all of these formed through oceanic crust or magma erupting through oceanic crust. Fun fact, if you measure from the seafloor, uh, the Big Island of Hawaii is the tallest mountain in the world. That's Ooh. true. Yes. Yep. Great question, Chibuki. Thank you for asking. And most of the world's volcanoes are underwater. Yes. Mm -hmm. Since yes. most of the world is underwater. We have a person who is 43 years old, and they'd like to know, is it too late no. to no. pursue? No, nope. it's never too late. <laughs> never too late that, for They didn't anything. even let me finish. Never <laughs> Did you hear that? Never too late. <laughs> never too late. Not Get at in all. there. Do anything you want. Join yeah. us. Yeah, absolutely. Please check out NautilusLive.org and check out the many careers that are available. It's never too late to be what you might have been. Yes. Someone just shared that they certified as divers at the age of 62. I love yeah. that. Ooh, never yeah. too late. Ooh, I just got Ooh. the two legs. Thank you for sharing. I never d dived before. Mm -hmm. I haven't either. I want to. I want to experience that. Scuba diving? Yeah. Yeah. In video zoom. That is so pretty. Hello. Oh, look, another Come bone. In. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, good eye. Seeing a lot of those. Good job, Ryan. Thank you. It's a great zoom. That is a beautiful zoom. The lighting and the color is perfect. Okay, come on. Science, I just realized in that uh, timing calculation, I did not account for 
coming up? Coming Blue up. Water. Yeah. But coming up is going to take us about an hour or something. Yeah. So it's still, it's not crazy. It's still an approachable goal. Yeah. But it sounds good. We'll see if they still want to do that. Um, yeah. Or cut the dive early. I'm not sure what Steve is going to want. You said coming up would take us about an hour. What's our final depth? Um, well, we don't actually... Well, right, okay. Uh, I think it's going to be around 1630, but that's counting contours, so... So we can do, like, 15 meters a minute generally. Slow. Well, I, well, I was going to say in general, right? And then we slow down around the flanges of the, the cheeks of the winch drum. Mm -hmm. So um, if, if you did, like, whatever... Yep for um, 15 meters a minute and then add a bunch of slush to that for the slowdowns. <laughs> oh, good slowdowns. Um, then you, that's, that's oh. those are the parameters. Oh, that's a nice start. Another yeah, start. to come up. Do Heart can't go yep. up as fast as he can go down. Yeah. So I'll just, what if like average 20 meters a minute? Yeah, yeah, I think that's actually, yeah. It's just a pretty good way to look yeah. at it, yeah. That's so cool. Mm-hmm. Um, no, like, because I was, like, saying we're, we'll go slower during the flanges, so it would be, oh, right, because we need to go slower. It'd be a, a slower average than a faster right. average. Yeah, we, yes, we, we both, we, yes, we yes. both did the backwards. Like, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> 10 so, to 12. We'll do 10 for safety. Yeah. Yeah. Raj. Raj. Cool. 133 minutes. Video zoom. It's a cool looking one. The arms all up in the air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. Come wide. Sorry, I gotta get out of there. Lots of angular rocks. Bridge time. Yeah, sure. I keep oscillating between whether or not I think a few of those bigger ones that are circular or pillows. Rather than boulders? Yeah. Could we step five zero meters bearing zero one two? Same speed. Those are pretty random little rocks in the sea of sediment. It uh, brings us closer to 0 0.2 knots. Still pretty doable. We have Kate from New York. She says, how does the buoyancy work on the RUV? Do you have weights that you cut off in order to surface at the end? You want to go back, Kylie, or shall I? You do it. I'm going to line this up. OK. Thank you. Um, so Hercules has a huge buoyancy package on the top. Um, 
called syntactic foam and a um, a bunch of ballast on the bottom video zoom oh i thought that was a thing there that's nothing uh and uh <laughs> video combined argus <laughs> is i think about three thousand pounds in water so herc is about um is is about uh 45 pounds buoyant in water and argus is like three thousand pounds heavy in water um when we want to get herc to go up or down we simply drive herc up or down um, when we want argus to go up or down um we will pull up on the winch, which I am doing right now, pretty close to the bottom. And uh, that's how our buoyancy works. There's other vehicles that operate slightly differently. Um, for instance, some AVs and submersibles drop a big weight stack. Um, but we don't actually need to do that here because we can do it all just by driving. Um, those vehicles are often ones that are uh, limited by battery power. So like you don't want to waste your power driving up and down when you can do it by dumping a weight stack um, if you have very limited power. But we're powered by the ship. The ship is powered by a lot of diesel generators and we and our vehicles are just not power limited in the same way that a vehicle without a tether would be. So we don't have to deal with weight stacks. How far from the seafloor does the ROV have to be before it starts to kick up sand? It depends entirely on the substrate. Mm -hmm. um, we're in some pretty light sediment here, and it gets pretty cloudy if you get anywhere near it. Um, but sometime, sometimes it's heavier, and uh, then you don't have to worry so much. Nice. Come back. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> oh, look at that shrimp. Don't want him. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. Focused just, on the never fish. Never mind. I got distracted. I just. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Got some dirt. Is that yeah. a holotherium? Perhaps. Um, Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What are you? Oh, no, it looks like a shrimp, maybe. Yeah, big so shrimp. Cute. Big can shrimp. you zoom, um, shrimp? Oh, can you zoom video? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he can. <laughs> oh, it's one of these daddy long leg shrimps. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you have a cloud on your porch. Yeah, Rod, can you sediment. come wide? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to clean myself and get ahead and hand it over in good condition. <laughs> Can call. you zoom shrimp? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's almost 4 a.m. Understandable. You're doing great. <laughs> Lots of shrimps. Mm-hmm. Shrimp party. Um, mm -hmm. Pilots, after this, yeah, I'm going to yeah. just let the ship hold position. That sounds wonderful. Perfect. We are all on a really good page together. Yeah, it didn't take long. I know. I think it was. Be I think it was the trial by fire. Yeah, actually. Uh, we bonded quickly. Extreme <laughs> <laughs> <Stream> duress. <laughs> Front and row, and you've been doing great. Thank like you so I much. Had, those were the two. Like, those were some of the most like sort of like exciting and stressful like moments I've ever had on ROV, like ever. <laughs> and uh, and so now this just feels like nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a breeze. Yeah. <laughs> How to get the bad stuff out of the way <laughs> or the stress. Okay. I just want to be clean. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you feeling a, a little dirty, Kylie? <laughs> 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 
little cleaning shrimp. We need to get one of those on the RV. Oh, <laughs> oh, good idea. <laughs> we we might need, need more than one. Yeah. <laughs> you need an associate. <laughs> get me a shrimp <laughs> associate. <laughs> stat. <laughs> one that can zoom. <laughs> You need a co-pilot, oh a co-cleaner. I don't think you want that to be your co-pilot. <laughs> I don't know, they had a lot of legs. You are correct. Um, you're seeing light from the ROVs. The ocean is very dark. That's right. Yeah, light does not reach mm -hmm. down here. About how far does light reach? Um, it depends on the, um, it depends on how murky the water is. Yeah, right? I think like rule of thumb is definitely under 200. There's none, I think about 100-ish meters. Um, it depends mm -hmm. on the, um, how clear the water yeah. is. I think it can get a little bit more than 200, but not much. Like definitely less, not. Uh, less than like 300 or 250. Yeah. I don't think visible to us, <laughs> but I think some of these animals. Some of these animals can reach I just it. Yeah, switch yeah. my heading around just a little bit. I've okay. been facing like 045, which yeah. is really not the direction we're going, so. Raj. I am freezing in this seat. It's cold oh, over wow. there. It yeah. is an icebox. Ryan, I think, is even colder. A, a corner here. Yeah. Oh, frozen. <laughs> yeah, the video seat is really the coldest. Yeah, should have sure. uh, layered up. It's pretty comfortable back here. I remember <laughs> sitting in the seat like last year and wearing like Kapolein under my jeans <laughs> yeah. and like a down puffy and I just like should have thought of that. Thank you for checking in, Miss Cole. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. She says the kids were so engaged and excited. Great. Oh, that's that's awesome. That. That's great. Has anybody ever seen The Abyss? Yes. Okay, recommended watching, really. <laughs> <laughs> but I did not watch that until I was already doing this job. Wild film. It is, but I didn't, so like the whole beginning where they're like, the like setting, like you're seeing like the robots. I was like, if I had seen this when it came out or any of the 25 <laughs> when it came years. Out in like 1991. <laughs> I was born that, well yeah. Like if I had seen it, maybe I would have known that this was a career. I didn't figure this out until I was, 25 that like robots even did the ocean yeah i had no idea i thought it was like marine science and that's it yeah um, that's i ended up mapping the same way i was like becoming a marine biologist and then i was like oh you can do something else hello, but geology. still related hello, maps. Yeah. yeah hello sea time <laughs> it's not a scientific movie just so everyone knows it is you not haven't seen it but it, it does have robots not. That, that are underwater. And There's also some cool aliens. Yes, it's a very it's sweet. interesting movie. It, I think it it's Spielberg. Is it? It's, I think it is. Yeah, I think it Isn't is. Isn't it James Cameron? Sometimes. I oh, yes. It's yeah. Cameron. Sorry, the other one. It's Cameron. I did because just Google uh, that. Sphere, I, <laughs> I think Sphere is Spielberg. Yeah, Sphere is the one I think of. I haven't seen it. It's a Michael, maybe a Michael Crichton novel adaptation uh, or something. Yeah. Oh, cool. So many of them are. Yeah. All the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Crichton and the ocean films really go hand in hand. Yeah. Well, he's a, it's definitely <laughs> exciting. I remember being flabbergasted. So when you hand over to watch, do you just go into your autos so they can have like a good? So people have different schools of thought on this. I like to be in the three autos, Raj. or if I'm on the bottom, it'll be a stick lock and okay. an auto head. Okay. Um, um, video zoom. I'm listening. Yeah. Hold there. Hmm. <laughs> oh. No, yeah, no, no, beauty. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> beauty. Um, 
Dan hands over with nothing on. Okay. And you just do it kind of fast, and he has reasons for that. Okay. Uh, that's not like he's just running away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, There's logic. It, I have definitely seen a handover. I was sitting in the seat for a handover like early on, and just learning to pilot, where things just went real sideways, and I couldn't figure out like what autos were on. Oh, Raj. And I couldn't get out of the situation okay. um, because. Like it was like stick lock was on or something like that, and like I didn't, you know, I couldn't drive. There was a lot um, going on here, yeah, so like exactly. this wasn't, yeah. Gotcha. Um, so I think that's some of the reasoning there. Okay. Um, just when things go sideways, it's nice to know you can just start to drive. Yeah. Um, but pick your poison. Okay. Um, and it depends on who you're handing off to, right? Like yeah. if you're handing off to somebody like super experienced, they're gonna see all the switches right away. Usually. Yeah. Sometimes I miss things, but. If you're handing off to somebody new, sometimes it's nice to point out, like, what you got going on. Video zoom. Oh, come wide. Actually, hold there. That's, that's good. And I'll try to get back into, like, a good... Stable. Okay, try again. Come in. Stay there. Yeah, come on. I don't like it. <laughs> Disregard. Oh, hey. Hello. Hi. Do Hold you mind on, if I take your down. bubble for a sec? Yes, of course. Hello. Oh, that's mine, sorry. Ooh. It has been a pleasure to explore with the 12 to 4 watch team as we okay. are exploring the western platform of Palmyra Atoll. We're going to transition and I'm going to hand it over to Dejana. Please stay tuned. Are you handing off?
Well, good morning, 48. Hello, everyone.